lovely Julie Chen, everybody. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you, you very just much. Wonderful. Well, I'm just off vacation, so I'm rested really? and tanned, and then I got sick. But I didn't get sick till I went back to work, so it was good vacation. That's when you got to do it. I know. Where did you go on vacation? Um, we were on a boat, and we were just off the coast of Italy, so we visited. We? we? Were you with your lovely husband, I'm my boss, the head of CBS, <laughs> Leslie Moonves? God bless you, Leslie. <laughs> Yes, I yeah, was. I yeah, was. Yeah. Um, and we, we went to some great towns. Where did you go to in Italy? We went to Sardinia, Capri, um, oh, wow. Positano. Yeah. Oh, get you, girlfriend. We ate so much. <laughs> get you. Do, you. do you like Italy? Do you like the Italian food and all that kind oh, of stuff? Oh, my God. I could have had um, linguine with clam sauce, but there you just call it vongole. Vongole? And that's, all, that's the only Italian I needed to that learn. That sounds like an air conditioner, doesn't it? <laughs> We have to get a vongole in here. This is very stuffy. It sounds very expensive. Yeah, yeah, it, it sounds very expensive. So, didn't it, wasn't it? Did you do the the, the swap with Les on the yes. take your husband and wife's job for a day day or something? Yeah, I came up with that idea um, one night at dinner, and I thought, let me run it past him first because if he's not going to swap with me, I can't pitch it to my executive producer. Right. I said, wouldn't it be funny if all the hosts of the early show were to for one week. Um, switch jobs with wow. their spouse because if you think about it, there are four hosts of the show, right? right? And two of them, Harry Smith and Hannah Storm, they are both married to broadcasters right. who work for another network. So they would be comfortable to, you know, to do it. And Leslie... It's a big old show off. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I thought he'd be very comfortable doing yeah. it. And I thought it's always fun for the audience to kind of get to know a personal side of well, us. Well, I don't know. I, see, I don't like this trend because what if my ex-wives were to come on and, and host this show? <laughs> then you'd get some trash talked about me, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so how did you get on with it then? So you ran CBS for, so, a, for a week? No, I only did it for a day. Oh, oh. Oh, I, it was easy on us, the broadcasters, because we got to tape our day at the office, day right. being, you know, doing whatever our spouse does for a living. So, you know, I went to his big office. He's got a really big office. I'm scared when I go into that office. <laughs> but then again, if you I'm in that be. office, I'm in trouble. No. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you know he loves you. Yeah, he loves I, no, I, you. I love he him does. too, but I still get scared going into the office. It's, it's imposing. He likes that. that yeah, yeah I, I know he likes that. that. Thing. I know it. It's so. the guards, you know, the armed guards walking down the corridor. <laughs> yeah, man! Walking. Yeah. And he has that scary voice. He's you got know? the scary he's voice like, as well. And you know Even what, when you, he's happy, it's you know, scary. you know what I like as well? When you go into Leslie's office and he's always kind of doing something at his desk and then he comes, he's kind of like, yeah, I'm all right with you. And then he gets up and talks to you. He learned that at Super Power School, I think. <laughs> Is he like that around the house? Is he very powerful? He said, I'd like to go for dinner right now. You know, like, <laughs> kind of. Really? <laughs> it's just who he is all yeah. the time. But he claims that I'm the boss at home, so. He's, he's smart. He's a smart yeah, guy. He's, he's smart, yeah. He's no fool. Yeah, yeah. He didn't know. Uh... No, that's true. <laughs> but it was good. It was hard on the spouses because, you know, they had to do a live uh, segment. So yeah. and on some of them, you know, it's it was... How did, how did Les do? I, I missed the early show because I'm working so late because, you know, it's half past midnight now or one o'clock or something. <laughs> and this is live. Yeah. <laughs> um, he did really well. Did he? He interviewed um, Jimmy Woods. Because he I've started. interviewed Jimmy Woods. Now, there's a crazy man. Now, that's yeah. not easy. On no. one hand, you could say it's easy because he's so full of life and, you know, always has great stories. Well, life, is that what he's full of? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's a great guy, Jimmy Woods, but I don't know if life is what he's full of. But he's also someone that's hard to, you know, contain. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the machine's going to take us off the air, so when you have to hit that commercial break, you know, you just have to... Put like your hand over his mouth practically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it it was it was a semi tough assignment for Leslie. For Leslie, yeah. But the good thing is, if he if he did badly at it, he could just give himself a good report anyway, because he goes back to be the head of CBS <laughs> the next day. We we have to take a break, and then we'll be right back. We'll talk about Big Brother. All right. We'll okay. be right back with Julie Chan, everybody. You have to juggle so much, and you have to please a lot of people. Are you going to work with us on this? The CEO has to be a very tough negotiator. What would you like? I would like an overall deal. How much will you pay? How much do you want? A lot. Starting bid? I want a lot of money. 
define a lot. Well, let's say a million dollars a day. Donald, <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> I'm here with the delightful Julie Chen. Now let's talk a bit about the uh, the Big Brother show. What actually happens? Some people bring their brothers and they all um, <laughs> no, no, no. live in a house. No, it's called Big Brother because it's Big Brother is watching you, like right. the George Orwell novel 1984. Mm -hmm. And this summer it's All Stars, which means everybody who's been thrown into this house that is equipped with cameras right. and you're cut off from the outside world, everyone who's on the show this summer has done it before. Right. So it's like the all-star cast. Typically what we do is we take complete strangers and throw them into a house together right. and they vote each other out week by week. It's that's, like survival. You, that's like marriage to me. Really. <laughs> that's a, how I approach the whole thing. <laughs> hey, you're good, so are you. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So um, this summer, it's, you know, we, we're having our first live eviction show wow. Thursday night and it's a big deal. Is big somebody going to go nuts? Um, well, you don't know because it'll be live. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. No, it's fine. Hey, you know what I should ask you as well? What's the deal with Katie Couric coming to CBS? Oh, I know. This is great news. <laughs> oh, come on. This is amazing. No, come on. <laughs> this is. Oh, this come is on. This is amazing for many different reasons. All right. You and Katie are really good friends then? Actually, I didn't know her until she got the job. Actually, right. I got to know her. It's funny because, um, you know, CBS was courting her for courting a while yeah, to come yeah. over so she would have these casual secretive meetings over Did at you worry home. about that when she was meeting Les? Were you like, what's that biatch doing with my man? Did yeah, you think? Like, what do you mean I have to go yeah, to the next room? Yeah. I got <laughs> Yeah, meeting with Katie Couric. <laughs> I'm like, she's cute, but not yeah. that cute. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's got the legs that America loves, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that's just me. I don't know. But that's, that's, that's would you ever do that? Would you ever do the, the news reading anchoring thing? Um, in the evening, I prefer the mornings. Yeah. The mornings, you know, we cover everything from cooking segments to entertainment to hosting live concerts um, to doing serious news. So it's kind of like we get a You've little bit of everything. You've got a lot of, of gear everything. changes to do yeah. that. Yeah, you know, very the tiring. Yeah, it do you, is. Do you ever, uh, do you ever follow, like the hours, what time do you have to get up in the morning to do that show? Well, when I do the show from L.A., since it's still live to the East Coast, live right. 7 a.m. Eastern time, I'm up at about 1 o'clock in the morning. Wow. I know. That's the... Oh, come on. So you're my morning news program. <laughs> <laughs> That's really... Because that, I'm up now and it's 1 a.m. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, uh, you're up at what you do, the night shift, basically. Yeah. It's, wow. It's the graveyard shift. Do you ever fall asleep during the day at important meetings? Uh, of course not me. Yeah. No, no, I never have. But you do sleep whenever you can. You sleep in shifts. You know when in I what? Sorry? In in shifts. Oh right. Okay. Like this shift. <laughs> and sometimes that too. <laughs> it's hard. It's not I, easy. I know. Tell me about it, girl. It's so late, and I'm still here. But you. <laughs> I'll put in a good word. You for you. Yeah. See if you can get me sometime in the afternoon between the bold and the beautiful and uh, the other. Is that CBS, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoa. Good job. Yeah. And the young and the wrestling. Yeah. And the young and the wrestling. That's right. Hey, do you ever fancy doing that, doing a soap? No. Oh, come that, on. You're no, cute enough. No, no, you could no, do no, it. no, no, no. I mean, acting is a whole... You've done acting and... Badly, but I've done it. No, yeah. you haven't. You're very good. You're very funny. And being funny while acting, I think, is probably the most difficult thing. Well, it's easy if I'm doing... If I'm doing a, a serious role, I can be funny very quickly. <laughs> By just being crap. <laughs> <laughs> not true, not true. No, no, no. But no, I would never want to do do a soap opera. No. I mean, I just I knew since I was thirteen I wanted to be a That's, TV you've news. Always known? Yeah, yeah. Very Did you focused. practice around the house? Did you do like news inside a cardboard box for your family? <laughs> no. <or anything? laughs> I wasn't that bright to start the to start the process. Well then. that's kinda like being in CBS in a way, isn't it? You just get a little cardboard box. <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. We're the high tech network. <laughs> I've, I've got a machine that goes. You know. Yeah, that was very cool. Yeah, yeah. And the lights. Go oh, and the lights go. It's uh, this is like this is like Spielberg production. This show. Hey, it's more than we have on yeah, the early well, show. No, it's, I I love doing your show though, and I, and it's doing so well as well. Congratulations on that, and and congratulations on the Big Brother, and say hi to your delightful husband for me, will you? Thank you, Julie Thank Chen, everybody. We'll be right back. Julie Chen, everybody. Julie 
truly. You Hello. look sensational. Look at you. Thank you look you. lovely. Well, it takes yes. a village, but. No, no, you, you look <laughs> lovely. Well Thank done. Thank you. Thank How you. How are you? I'm very well. I'm How? excited for the finale. Yeah, I was going to say the Big Brother. Now, was that game called the Man Niagara Balls? Is I, that what it was? Yes, it was called that. And The balls are dropping during the game. Is yes. that the idea? Yes, just like the falls, you know, uh -huh. in massive amounts. And we like to, you know, get silly sometimes. And when, when I said it, you know, I had to say it with a straight face. And everybody on the stage, all the cameramen and the crew, they were just, you know, yeah, laughing I know, the because they, well, they like ball jokes. <laughs> As I do myself. Who Have doesn't? you ever seen this show? <laughs> what about um, the? You know when the Big Brother? I always. I know that you can't choose favourites and, and stuff like because you've got to be impartial. Right. But why is it always the bastards who win? That's not true. Oh come that on! Is not true. It no, is true. No, no, true. no. Season three, Lisa was very nice. She oh, she's won. a bitch. Season five, <laughs> Drew. Drew. The all-American, very nice guy. Yeah, that he was won. on the front though. I think with Drew. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, no, no. Underneath, he was. Do you do you have do you have favorites? I mean, you don't have to yes. tell me who they are. Who I don't are necessarily they? have who favorites to win, <laughs> but I have favorites to watch on the right. show. Okay. And unfortunately, some of the people that you describe as the bastards yeah. uh, make it far in the game. Do you know they they? And it's interesting to watch them. I mean, if someone's nice and they're not that exciting, they're kind of boring. Then right. you don't necessarily want them on the show all the time because there's no content there. And what about the the nakedness as well? There was nakedness this year. Yes, because... If you looked hard for it, and I did, but there was an <laughs> Well, it helped that we had Showtime to air Big Brother After Dark, which is just three hours live right. from midnight to 3 a.m., and it's uncensored, so you'll hear, you know, language, adult language, and there'll be nudity. It doesn't get blocked out because it's cable. Yeah, that's the way this show would be if it were on cable. Well, let's take it to cable. <laughs> I was heading there all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about the, how do you do the early show and the Big Brother? Where's the Big Brother house? What state is it in? Can you say? It's, yeah, it's here in California. It's in Los Angeles. Right. And so I fly back and forth. But when I'm in LA doing Big Brother, I will do the early show from this very building, just very early in the morning. It must be like nighttime. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You must be what is it noon or something? Or no? Wait, it would be that's not nighttime, is it? Uh, it it's, no, it well, would be it's like dark two. When I leave, when I'm done. Right. At 6 a.m. local LA time, it's dark when I when I'm done with my wow. day. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's really and there's early. some changes going on at the uh, at the early show over there as well. Who? Somebody got the. Uh, uh, no, we have a new boss. You got a new boss. That's, a new I'm sorry, I, for, I forgot how to say it. Yeah. <laughs> we have a new executive producer, <laughs> and she's great. Her name is Shelly Ross, and right. we just announced that on Monday. Right. So we're excited. Everybody's excited. Well, are you going to be changing the format in any way? That, uh, well, yes. Oh, really? Come January, right. a lot of our affiliates, about 25% of the country, they do not take the full two hours of the show. From 7 to 8 a.m., our first hour, they kind of like jump in and jump out. Right. So starting in January, all affiliates are going to be on board taking the that's, full two hours. So that's, that's good. That's congratulations on that. Now, let me ask you this. May I make a suggestion is really what I want to Absolutely. say. Absolutely. More cookery segments. Do you cook? I No, I don't. And that's why I need more cookery segments. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, because uh, we have we have Wolfgang Puck on this show often. Now he's annoying, um, <laughs> but he, no, he is. He's a very annoying, man. No, he is. No, no, no. don't you know you're, him? You're, yes, I, you're no, lying. Oh no, you're I'm teasing. not lying. You, I, I, how is he annoying? Well, he's Austrian. <laughs> He's Austrian. That doesn't count. Oh, doesn't it? Oh, you've got a short memory. That's all I can say. <laughs> no idea why I'm even Does saying this. Does he make this. you cook? He, no, when he comes on, he, he comes on this show and he criticises me about my accent on this show. <laughs> Wolfgang Puck, do you believe that? Well, you that? give it back to him. Well, of He's course He's got an I accent do. too. Yeah, he has. He doesn't know he has, though. <laughs> Gotcha. Now, have you been on vacation? You're, uh, you're... Yes, over Labor Day weekend, it was a short vacation. Yeah. It was just uh, three nights away, but it was a couple's vacation, and my husband and I took... I know your husband quite well. He is, in fact, my boss. Yes, yes. <laughs> mine too. Allow me or to... he thinks I'm his I, boss. I allow me to kiss your ass just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Appropriate amount. Yeah, yeah. Thank now, you. where did you go on your couple's vacation? We... Is that like a swinger's vacation? No. Right. We, we brought my parents. And oh, I his see. Parents. I see. I'm sorry. I completely got the wrong end of the stick there. No. No, it was very nice. We just went to Hawaii. Traveling from Los Angeles to Hawaii is much easier 
than New York, where right, we're right, based of most of the time. Right. So it was nice, just a quick getaway. What island did you go to? We went to the big island of Hawaii. It's the one I've never been to. Us until now, we had not been there. I, now, is it different from the other islands? Yeah, it's not lush. Bigger, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> and it's not like um, some of the other islands are more green and lush. This right. one is just, you land and you feel like you're in Terminator 5. Because wow. there's all this, you know, like lava that's dried up, that's, you know, oh, all over the yeah. ground. So it's just burn out. Yeah. The ground is burn out. And what do you, what do you and uh, Les do when you're when you're on vacation? Do you we do go you by golf? The, um, he golfs. Yeah. When we're together, typically not. We just lay by the pool. Uh -huh. We read books, and <laughs> we sound so exciting. Yeah. And we just go swim in the hey, pool. You went on a swingers vacation. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Couples vacation. I don't want to start don't any rumors swing. about that. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's lovely to see you. Please uh, yeah, suck up the Les a bit for me. Uh, <laughs> it's lovely to see you again. And, and good luck with the finale of Big Brother. It's really, it's really uh, doing fantastically well this year, and congratulations yes. on that. Julie Chan, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome the lovely Julie Chan, everybody. Sensational. Oh, thank you. So do you. You look like a citizen. Yeah, I do. I am a citizen now. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, if tonight you find that I'm sitting in a very odd, weird way, it's because I've been looking at myself and I seem to have some kind of weird double chin. Oh, no, so, you don't. Do I really? All right, fine. I can oh. relax. I thought you were going to blame it on the flu medication. I might. I feel a little strange. But then again, I realized I haven't taken any med med medication. <laughs> I think I just am right. a little strange. Are you quite glittery? Or I am. I, that's you know, kind of... because last night was the Grammys and everyone was doing the spray tan thing. You know? Right. So I got influenced by it and I said, why not? You know? It's Southern lovely. California. Where did I get me some of that? At the Clarence makeup counter at any department store. Really? <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think, I, think... I don't think it's made for men. I don't, it's a little glittery for guys. <laughs> I don't know. Who wants to see Craig and... If you manage to see this show tomorrow night, you will see me come out here. I will be bedazzled by the time I die. On your eyelids. I I'll, get my, I'll get everything done. I'll be all spray tan. Did you go to the Grammys? Yeah, we did. Did you really? Yeah, it was, was it fun? It was fun. Oh, I, I'd be scared to go. Why? Well, you know, all that rock and roll and coolness. I wouldn't fit in. <laughs> you fit right in. Oh, really? I don't know. Where was it? It was downtown the Staples Center. Oh, yeah, they have basketball down there as well. Yeah, this whole like, complex down there. I mean, it's just like a whole little it's city. It's big amazing. Big deal, yeah. yeah. Did, so you had a good time at the Grammys? Very Did your favorite time. artist win? Um, yeah, I was really happy that Amy Winehouse won. I thought her performance was great, and I thought she was adorable. She's she extremely her. talented, that girl, oh, isn't she? Wildly, I, I know. Yeah. It's it, it's kind of odd when you you know. I realize that it's my job to be vicious and unkind about her in the monologue, but she is. I mean, she is really, really talented. Oh. I think she's fantastic. And she showed it last night. Yeah. Live. She's kind of you know. It's the irony of singing the movie, uh, the song Rehab while you're in rehab. <laughs> no. <laughs> And then she thanked her husband, her, her incarcerated place. Yeah, yeah, he's in jail, she's in rehab, and woohoo, winning a Grammy. You talk about it. There's a lot going on. How was your weekend, Amy? Well, you know, there's a lot going on. Now tell me about the Big Brother. These, uh, the, You know what I think about this show, by the way? That it has spawned so many cheaper imitations, like, you know, Skank Island and all that other stuff that they do. <laughs> you know what I mean? For, well, for anyone who doesn't know, it's, right. we put... 16 strangers to a house, right. and it's like Survivor, but it's in this house that has no television, no radio, no telephones, so you cannot talk it's to like anyone. like growing up in Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the outside world. Like growing up in Scotland. <laughs> and each week you vote out one of your own. So you have to coexist, and yet you have to kind of turn on each other because you're voting each other out. So you have to form alliances. I mean, it's very, very similar to Survivor, but minus that, you know, the elements of being in the wilderness. Yeah, and also, I think that the, the you get, um, no disrespect to the people, you get some really nasty, unpleasant people on that. Well, it's, uh, a men it's more of a, to me, Survivor's more physical. Yes. And Big Brother's more, it's a mental challenge. I also, mean, but the just... guy that took his clothes off in that clip we showed, he's in better shape than the guy that took his clothes off in Survivor. Remember that? Guy? Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah. season one, Richard Hatch. And then he didn't pay his tax. Oh, yeah. Well, no. <laughs> that was wrong. You're, like, you're so naked on TV there. and then you try and cheat the IRS. They know what you look like. <laughs> They've seen your ass. Yeah, I mean, that, isn't that 
crazy? Do you pay your tax, Julie? Of course. Well, then you'll be all right then. Do you know, because you're on TV a lot, right? All the time. Do you watch yourself ever? I, I watched myself a little bit and I suddenly went, I'm never doing this again. Oh, no, the first time it is it is weird. Well, just now I was watching the clip that you played from last year's Big Brother. Right. And I was kind of like, I know what you mean. You kind of go like, oh, you know, you're so critical of yourself. You're like, oh. You but you're, you're, I mean, you're very beautiful. You don't have to worry oh, about you. that. But I, it's true. It's true. Now, how are things with you and Moonves? Still working out? Because uh, you're looking good. That's my husband. Right? No, 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 yeah. Also my boss. <laughs> yeah. Yes, very good. Things are still working out then. Yes, All right, awesome. well, that's good. How's he doing? He's doing great. Really? Yeah. Was he at the Grammys last day as well? Yes, who do you think took me? I don't know. I was trying to look for some dirt. I'm like TMZ of late night. <laughs> We went to the Grammys, we went together, as we do every year, and he's doing well. You owe him a phone call. Do I? Yeah. Did he tell you to say that? No. That's no. worse, then. <laughs> Is it like getting called to the Prince Charles office? Nah, he's actually all right. It's very funny having a boss like Les, because you can, like, talk to him. It's very weird. I'm used to kind of, like, going quaking. You know. Yeah, no, he's a guy's guy. He's yeah, he is kind of a guy's guy, but not in a gay way, if you understand. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, no. Then it would he's be. He's watching right now. Is he really? Probably. He better be. He doesn't watch. He doesn't watch. Oh, yeah, he probably watches when you're on. I never thought of that. Yeah, well, if he's yeah. not watch, watching right now from his yeah. office, he will tonight when it's well, I'll cut this bit out, I'll cut this oh, bit no, out. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. <laughs> It'll all be fine. None of this will be here. All that me, how you doing, Moonves, cheeky stuff, that'll be out. It'll just be... But if he's watching his office right now, then you're really... Well, important. if the phone goes, I'll know he is. Then he'll be calling you before you call him. Yeah, I know. I'll call him first and say, hey, what's wrong with you? she got the flu or something, Les? She <laughs> seems to be on some kind of medication. That's what I'll say. I'll head him off at the pass. So how are things going on the early show? Your schedule must be nuts. It You're is doing the early nuts. show in it New York. Nuts. I know, because Big Brother is done here in Southern California because right. the house that we put these strangers in, you know, strangers to each other, but not by the end of the season, then sure. they're like, we know each other way too well. It's here, and then the early show is done from New York primarily. But as I travel back and forth, if I have to, I've done the early show from somewhere in, in this building. Really? Not your studio, but yeah. The Price is Right stage? No, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I just want to spin that wheel. Yeah, but you know, it's okay to go now because Drew Carey's on, but when Bob Barker was there, you can't go there between sunset and sunrise. Oh, you have your Bob Barker. No. no. We love Bob. I love Bob too. I, I love Bob too, but Dr. Acula, I think you know what I'm saying. No, stop. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's that faint whiff of formaldehyde and blood every time I see him. <laughs> Check out Big Brother tomorrow night. I will check it out tomorrow night. I yeah, promise. It's nine o'clock tomorrow night. Nine o'clock. We have a very interesting twist because Valentine's Day. Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Every day is Valentine's uh -huh. Day. Your girlfriend is. I'll ask her. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You do that. Okay. Val, I'll get you out of this. Okay. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why I bring it up. No, because this season on Big Brother we have this Valentine's Day kind of twist where normally you go in and you play the game alone and it's you against everyone else in the house with you. This year we're throwing in 16 strangers and after they get to know each other for about an hour, we are coupling them up. We have played matchmaker based on like questionnaires and interviews that they've done. Holy crap. And we're playing match yeah. yeah. So we're saying, okay, you're, you're all single. You've all said you're looking for love. We're going to help you along. We think you're going to be compatible with this person. You're teamed up and you have to compete this season together as a team. This is the sexiest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> They have, to, they have to share a bed, too. Really? Yeah. This is awesome! <laughs> I love it. Television. <laughs> I love it. Celebrity Big Brother uh, tomorrow. No, it's not Celebrity. It's just Sexy Big Brother. Sexy Big Brother. <laughs> tomorrow night at night? Yep. Tomorrow night at night with Julie Chen, the lovely Julie Chen. We'll be right back. Uh, we're lucky to have the host of the Big Brother show, the very lovely Julie Chen is here, everybody. <laughs> I Thank do you. like your necklace. I love it. It's very, very nice. Thank you. It's I saved it for this show. Really? First time out of the gate, so I'm glad. It's very nice. I'm glad it's working. It is. It's working for me, girl. <laughs> Thank hey, you. listen, we're not hooked up to the house yet, are we? Are we hooked up to the house? They're not seeing us yet. All right. Okay. So, listen, I get, I get this email, Yes. Right? It says, Ollie and April are getting it on. 
Is that true? It is true, and I just want to poll your audience if it's okay because what? you what you want to what? <laughs> I want to ask for their advice on something All right, okay. because this viewer wants to know why don't you ask Ollie and April how they feel about providing porn right. to the internet and yeah. to Showtime After Dark. Now, if we ask them when we talk to them, just keep in mind they might you know stop having relations in the house. So, knowing that, how many in this studio No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Look, may I interrupt, please? Yes, go. You, oh, you, shut up. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, first of all, you made a mistake that this is some kind of a democracy. It's not. Okay, it's a dictatorship. America stops at the door, girlfriend. <laughs> this is daddy's house. No. Hey, you're a citizen now. And I think okay. if this is going to stop them getting it on in the house, I say we don't mention it. Okay. But I will point out to you, April in the house yeah. is the very lovely platinum blonde that you spoke to the first time we did this segment when we right. went into the house to talk to the house guests. Right. Um, you know, very naturally well endowed. And Ollie has become her boyfriend in the house. They started out as strangers, these 13 individuals. Right. And Ollie um, is the guy we talked to last week. With the orange shirt? Uh, so you get the orange shirt. Oh, the was it the polo shirt? shirt? Yeah. Yeah, he's African American. Yeah, he yeah, with the orange head. shirt on, I yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah, he had the polo shirt. Yeah, he had the hat and he took his hat off and he had a shaved head. Yes, it was adorable, yes. I remember. So, I was a, so good we won't... times, good times. <laughs> so they are the two that have a, they are kind of girlfriend, boyfriend in the house as of now. All right, and who's up for eviction this week? Your favorite, Jesse, once again. I like again. Jesse. Why does everybody think I hate Jesse? Just because no. he's adorable and waxed. <laughs> He is wax. Well, he, he's a professional bodybuilder. So well, he you know, needs to wax. He's right, got excuses. He needs to wax. Right. So that means he survived eviction last week. Right. That other pretty girl, Angie, that you spoke to, the girl who was half Korean, half Caucasian, yeah. she got evicted last week. Oh. But Jesse has been nominated again, which is why you'll be seeing him sitting in one of those green chairs. Well, let's, let's, should we go over yeah, and let's talk a, to yeah, them? Yeah, let's, let's have a look at them then. Uh, hello uh, to the Big Brother house. Hi, everybody! Oh, hi. Hi. I, I love you to see you. Listen, I suppose you know by now that we faked the earthquake, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, it wasn't a real earthquake. Oh. It was a real earthquake. But they think it was a fake earthquake, don't they? Well, we're not allowed to tell them if it was real or not real because they're not supposed to know everything that's happening outside of oh, the real right. world. Well, there so was some kind of weird, it was maybe not, fake earthquake, yeah, maybe real. You'll never know until you get out. Well, let's see by a show of hands. How many of you in the Big Brother house think the earthquake was real? One, right. two, three, four. How many of you think it was phony and staged by Big Brother producers? The majority of the house. Wow, that's very interesting. They clearly don't trust you or even like you. <laughs> With good reason, actually. <laughs> now, who's up for eviction this week, everybody? Jesse, not again! Say it's not so! Why? Um, I think you're drawing way too much attention to me. All right, all right, we'll move on. I'm just kidding. Apparently, uh, they just see me as a good competitor, and I hope that's why I'm up here. All right. Well, um, uh, that's, and who's the, who else is in the green chair this week? Memphis. Memphis? He is why? A... Um, I think it has something to do with uh, the first night we were here, I kind of won a car, so... You kind of won a car? Yeah. He did. He won the first competition of the season. But you can't use it while you're stuck in there, so maybe this is a good yeah. thing. So I, I don't even remember what it looks like. I think it was some like bad, like awesome, like 69 Camaro, but. Wow. Is that Not really? bad, yeah. That really so. That's, that's all right. Is somebody's birthday today, is it? Oh, oh, it is Libra's birthday. birthday. Oh, happy birthday, happy Libra. Birthday. Happy Julie, thanks, Craig. How old are you? May I ask? Yes, I'm 29. Oh, wow. you're adorable, Young. aren't you? Look at you. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? No. She's ma Libra's married. She has a husband in Texas. Right. And she's the mother of three. She gave birth five months ago to twins. Wow. And one, it's not a mer medical mir miracle, but it is rare. Her husband is Caucasian. One twin came out white and one twin came out black. That is fantastic. You know that's technically what they call a sitcom pilot. <laughs> On CBS, that's yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> one twin is black, one is white. Will they ever get along? It'll be hilarious. We, Can you pitch that to Les when you go I home? Will, Thanks, I will. I will. And then we have to, now we have to say hello to Michelle. Hello, Michelle. She's wearing a very special outfit tonight, really? just for Can you. I? Can I see? It is a red unitard. Oh, that's lovely. You're like one of the Incredibles. <laughs> She is like a superhero. You do. You look adorable. 
Thank um, you. Now, what do you do in the outside world, Michelle, that makes you walk around with, or have or even own an outfit like that? <laughs> She um, lost I'm a still challenge. wondering that, Craig. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but the I look truth, good in it, right? The truth behind that red unitard, for Big Brother fans know that this is the third season it's made an appearance. Oh. If you lose a challenge, you are reduced to wearing a red un that red unitard for an entire week. Oh, I'm sorry. That, uh, she uh, wasn't happy about no, it. No, so I, I feel terrible Tell her how now. good she looks in it. You actually do look great in it. You really do. You do. And you no, must Craig, be hard on you. yourself. No, it, it looks fabulous. very nice. It's, it, you know, it shows off your figure very well. It's nice. Yeah, no, that's did good. You, did you actually, take a look all around, actually? It looks yeah, go on. Stand back. up. Give us a twirl, then. Hello. She looks good. She looks great. She's great in it. Yeah, she looks... She, actually, you know what you do? You look fantastic. Thank you, uh, You want to probably get some photographs of you wearing that and send them over here. Craig, I actually <laughs> want to wear it on your show. If you invite me, I'll wear it on your show. How's that? Uh, all right. Well, um, you know, sometimes we do the show and the cameraman and the audience don't make it. You should come to one of those. <laughs> All right, we've we got to go. Listen, good luck. Uh, and the two of you that are up for eviction, uh, may the best man win. I'm sorry to see you in that chair again, Jesse, but I'm sure you'll be all right. I'm sure... Oh, no, I'm not sure I'll be talking to you next week. <laughs> but uh, good luck, and, and may the best man win. All right, Thanks, we'll see Craig. you next week, everybody. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Do, are we going to see them next week? They don't get to know. They don't get to know. They actually... Um, they thought last week when we said, we'll see you next week, they right. thought we were pulling their leg. See, they thought the earthquake Do you was... think you... I don't know, and it was a real earthquake. Unless CBS actually made the earthquake happen. And... No, we do a lot of things, but we could not make the right, ground shake. Right. We've we, we got to go, but we'll see you next week? Yes, absolutely. All right, right. Julie Chan, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome Julie Chan, everybody. Look sensational when you come out here. Thank you're just you. so you're, beautiful. You're you look kind. lovely. A lot of effort goes into you working. <laughs> Thank you. I um, I said working. A lovely dress. You're working. See, I'm I'm learning the <laughs> is vernacular. That, is that a compliment? I'm yes, work you're working, okay. it, girl. I've okay. been watching how to look good naked. Do you watch that? No, but I saw your clip of the um, show. Preston. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think he's I, gay. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, not at all. Right. But, you know, it's like women well, naked, women you know. women don't want a hetero guy judging them naked, right? Like, they feel more comfortable around a gay man saying... Oh, because his interest will be academic as opposed to predatory. <laughs> I guess. One would hope. Mm, yeah, it's true. I would be the wrong judge. I'd be like, you look great. <laughs> they would love you. Yeah, you look great. Let's get it on. <laughs> That's it. My yeah. marks... Let's go. That's my marks. Then that would be a different show. It would be a different show. I think that's on, I think that's on Cinemax, that show. <laughs> Tell me about the Big Brother this year. What's going on? Season 10. Right. You know, we've been on for 10 seasons now, so we decided... I mean, how many people are familiar with the concept of the show? The, the original concept of the show was let's get 10 strangers, complete strangers, from all walks of life and throw them in the house together and see right. if they could coexist. And each week they have to vote one of their own out of this house. It's like Survivor, but indoors. Yes, right. and you're cut off from the outside world, meaning there's no television, no telephones. You, you can't talk, you can't call your mother or your spouse, whoever. I'm in. I'm in. When? <laughs> So, for the last few years, we've been doing, like, a special twist where, like, not everyone's a complete stranger. We had, like, secret couples, secret best friends. Oh. So, this year, celebrating 10 seasons, we decided let's get back to just pure game, old school, and really put complete strangers, no special twist. And we just started that. We just evicted one person. Who, who did you evict? Brian. I, oh, he yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Tell me about Brian, Brian. because <laughs> I have my doubts about him. Well, let me tell you about yeah, Brian. Yeah, you better. He, he was playing. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fan of the show. He's yeah. watched it. Yeah. And he was playing too fast, too soon, too hard. Just like not... Just like any man I've ever <laughs> met. He was being too much man in yeah, the house. Yeah, that you he don't was, want... Right. They don't you have a, an older gentleman in the house this, we this time? We have the oldest house guest in not only Big Brother history, but I think in all of reality television. Or, or in history. This <laughs> <is the> oldest. <laughs> <laughs> He's 75 years old. That's not that old. 
His name is Jerry McDonald, and he's from Magnolia, Texas. Right. And this guy, he is a Korean War veteran, All right. a retired marketing executive, and some people have to change the physical challenges. He, you saw him climbing through that honey. Yeah, yeah. We he wasn't the one I was concentrating on, but I saw. No, I know, I, I know. You were looking at April. Look, there was a booby girl and some honey. What am I meant to look at? What am I meant to look at? I'm like, oh. She announced to the house her boobs are real. Well, that's even better. I don't mind real boobs. And she let anybody who wanted to challenge her. Do you need someone in the house? <laughs> Do you need someone? Want, you want I should go sure in there and just check everything's working out. Would you like to visit the house? I would. I would like to visit the house. Well, we have a big surprise tonight. What, what, you, are we in the house? These people are locked away right now. Yeah, they don't get TV. We can say anything we like about them. We can what? be mean about them. We can say anything we want. Why don't we try and see what's going on in the house and talking to them? You know, I talk to them through Is that what this thing line. is? Is that what this thing is? is it... Oh, my Lord! Oh, Ooh, they're waiting. Oh, let me, let wow, me, look, well, let me see if they can hear us yet. Oh, oh, oh they hear us. Hey. Yeah, look, there they are. Hi, house guests. Hi. Hi. Now, I know you guys got all dressed up, and we always say expect the unexpected oh on Big Brother. God. Do you hear, like, loud noises, or what do you... Yes. It's helicopters. Helicopters. Uh -huh. you hear helicopters? Really? Yes. Okay, I here's... hear them all the time, too. I try and ignore it. <laughs> Let me explain the surprise house guests. Right now, all of you, along with me, we are all guests on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson right now. Yeah, with a live you audience, your fans are all sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> they have not seen other human beings for two weeks until now. Wow. Well, it's very nice to. Now, do you still have any of the honey left? No. Yeah, I got some. What, what happened to the honey? I oh. won. That's what happened. I'm not talking to you, dude. I'm talking to the girl. <laughs> That's April. Yeah. April, say hello to Craig Ferguson, the host of The Late Late Show. Hi, Hi April. Hey. Uh, who's, who's the girl that supposedly has these mythical real boobies? <laughs> Do you guys know, because you get no news reports, this is the biggest story in America right now. <laughs> It is absolutely like there is scandal. Your boobies are the front cover of Time magazine. <laughs> They're everywhere. If you were here, I'd let you feel them. So. Oh! Yeah. She, she said, said she would let you feel them. That's legally binding. You said it on TV. <laughs> that is legally binding. But April, April, you've gone through this argument a lot of times throughout your life, which you're comfortable with. We saw an opening night when we all threw you guys in there. You had to prove to certain house guests that your breasts are real. Yes. That is correct. I did. I have to prove it all the time. So, you know, they're used to being touched. So it's okay. <laughs> this is the greatest moment of my life. Craig, I can't make this stuff up. Okay? Can we speak to uh, uh, the gentleman, um, the uh, slightly older gentleman? I don't mean to, you know, but... Um, uh, Jerry. Jerry, yeah, Jerry. Jerry. From Texas. How are you doing in there, Jerry? You all right? I'm doing great. Oh, I got my heart started that first night. Yeah. <laughs> he knows they're real. Really? Hey, Jerry, I mean, have you ever felt a false one? No. No, no, I haven't. Well, see, <laughs> then the thing is, Jerry, you probably need to compare before you absolutely... <laughs> you go around the room? Well, what, what? Go around the room? Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, let me ask, you guys are all in there. Who, who, are you getting along? Is everybody getting along with each other? No! Is that happening? No, no what's sorry. Happening? That's Je Jesse. Jesse's the head of household. He's kind of like the boss man right now in the house. Right. And he's saying no. Why are you doing that, Jess? Because people are already starting to stir up stuff. It's the name of the game. If you were in here, you you'd be uh, listening and you'd be able to hear everybody else talk bad about you or be paranoid when you walk by two people and you just automatically assume that they're talking about you. Have yeah. you busted anyone talking about you, Jesse? Uh, I haven't 
heard anything about me, but I'm sure other people have said stuff about me, I'm sure. <laughs> well, what if they haven't, Jesse? What if they're just like, oh, who's that dude again? What happens then? You know, like, if they, Wait, if they forget about you, isn't that worse? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. They forget about you. I mean, I'm well, serious. I'm HOH. Like, they have to talk about me. Don't worry about it. What's that? Oh. Oh. I'm HOH. Wait, Jesse, repeat that again? I'm Ooh. HOH. They have to talk about me. HOH. Head of household, oh. which means... It sounds like ho to me. <laughs> I, I should warn you. <laughs> Wait, Craig, I, I, I should warn you. Jesse, um, at one point in his career, He's only 22, but he was Mr. All Natural Iowa. Oh, Jesse, so you wear, take, you hardly ever wear a shirt in the house, and now you put one on. Oh, let's see, let's see what you got, Jerry. Let's see the guns. Come on. <laughs> Come on then. Take it off, baby. Good lord. Okay. He, you know, wow. if they need a Hulk 3, yeah, yeah. they know where to go. You know what? You're looking good. Yeah, very good, Jen. No, that is very good. I'm, I'm sorry for any mean things I said to you before. <laughs> Smart man. All right, we got to go. Well done, uh, Big Brother Houses. Keep it up. More honey. Uh, enjoy yourself. <laughs> That's fantastic. Jilly Chan, everybody. <laughs> Julie, always just a vision every night. Oh, thank you. You look gorgeous. Thank you very much. Now, listen, I've been fascinated with the Big Brother now. I'm completely fascinated. I was horrified when you were here last week and we were talking to the house guests, and Jesse thinks I don't like him. Well, he's also like a big muscle head. Is that why you're horrified? No, I, I, I'm not frightened of muscly men. I want to meet him and, and be friendly. <laughs> well, Jesse is up for, um, he's, he's been nominated for possible eviction. No! Yes, it's between him and Angie. And Angie... Who's Angie? Angie has been voted by the guys as the prettiest girl in the house. We didn't talk to her last week, right. but maybe tonight we can talk we to her. We definitely talked to Angie, her. but I want to get things straight with Jesse. I don't want them all in my grill. Yeah, no, Jesse's definitely someone you don't want in your grill at all. He's, but I don't know if you noticed during the earthquake. He took his shirt off. Yes. What the hell is that? For safety reasons. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> we can ask him. Well, should we get it going? Should we yeah, talk can we to get the hookup? Come on then, let's get on the hookup to the house. Are they there? Hey. Hey. Hi, everybody. Are you all right? <laughs> Did you survive the earthquake okay? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, hey, Jesse, where's Jesse? Oh, boy. Jesse, well, I'm not, I love you, Jesse. Why do you think I'm mean to you? I didn't think you were mean to me, and Julie even helped me out, so I'm fine with everything. Yeah, listen, I, you can't, Jesse thinks that I got him up for eviction. No, no, Jesse, you know not to blame Craig. You know exactly why you're sitting there tonight. <laughs> what happened, Jesse? Why did they put you up for eviction? Actually, one of the things that uh, Keisha did say in her speech was that, uh, I brought shame to the house for the way I responded to your question. Keisha, how dare you? Why did you say that, Keisha? Nice nail varnish, by the way, girl. <laughs> Why did you... I don't think Jesse brought shame. We were just hanging. We were just talking. We were just... Oh, right, I did say H-O-H -H sounds a bit like ho, but I didn't mean specifically that was Jesse. I just meant the title of that. It, you want to change that title, Julie, H-O-H. -H. It sounds like ho. I like it. We, I'm not saying anything. I like hoes myself, but you don't want to... But, Jesse, we want to know, during the earthquake, uh, when everyone ran to the center of the yard, which was a smart thing to do, so nothing can fall on you, why exactly did you take your shirt off? Why did I take my shirt off? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't remember? No, I, no, I don't. Oh, no, I, actually, because we were sitting in the sun, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. You know, tan lines, t-shirt, can, you know... Doesn't I don't know, that. Jesse, I think, I think you're taking too much heat for this. This is wrong. Let's move on and find somebody else as you Thank take... You. Who else is up for eviction? Angie, sitting right next to him. Angie? Let me get... Angie? Oh, no way, you're staying. <laughs> you are staying. Angie, when the earthquake happened, why didn't you take your shirt off? You know it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous to not take your shirt off.
woken up, so I just didn't have time to think. Of course, if I had known, I would have taken it off for you. Well, listen, the next time you feel any kind of a tremor in that house, all of you, shirts off first. <laughs> Shirts off. Well, you know who put a special shirt on for you last week, and I think he was a little upset that he didn't get any love from uh, us, was Ollie. Ollie? Ollie? Oh. Where's Ollie? Am I right? You put on a special shirt, oh, exactly. and we right. didn't really talk to you too much last week, so I apologize. That's a we nice shirt you got this week, Ollie. That's lovely. <laughs> That's very nice. I try, I try to do what I can. Yeah, no, you, and it's doing, now, when the, if the... If there was an earthquake now, Ollie, would you take the shirt off or would you leave it on? I'll leave it on. Yeah, I think you'd be right to because it's good. It looks good on you. I what about so. the, uh, the hat? The hat? This hat? Yeah. I, I, I like to keep my head covered. I got a big noggin, so I try to cover it as much as no, possible. No, take it no, off. No, take Let's it off. Ladies, ladies love a look at Aww. that. See, that's nice. I like that. See, if I ever go bald, that's the way I'm going to go. Well, it's a good You know, if I started to lose my hair, did you do that because you were losing your hair or just because it's cool? No, I actually shaved it because uh, I want a clean look. That's why. Yeah, but I did exactly the same on another part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, we're, we're really pushing for time this week. Can we come back next week? Julie, can you come back next week? Can, will you guys be available house guests next we'll week come to back talk to us? Me too. Now, listen. Uh, uh, now, to go. Yeah, that's right. You're stuck there. <laughs> right. <laughs> But listen, be, remember, just safety first. Earthquake comes, close off. <laughs> in fact, in fact, you might want to just take your clothes off in case. We are on the San Andreas Fault. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love it. Can you come back next week? I can. I will right. be here. We'll, uh, we'll be back with Michelle Yoko, and, and Julie will be back next week, and we'll catch up on the house guest. So, uh, we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Julie Chan, everybody. Julie Chan. Welcome, dear. Thank you. It's good to be back. You look lovely. We call it Chan's Day now. When you I come like on a that. Wednesday, Chan's Day. Yeah, it's a play on words. You know, your name's Julie Chan, the day's Wednesday. You come and you talk to us about the Big Brother show, which, of course, I haven't seen for two weeks. I know. Since we were together last on this program, mm -hmm. we kicked out, well, we didn't kick out. The house guests chose to evict three people. Well, who were they? Who got evicted then? April, the April. long platinum blonde that, you know, you've talked to before. Those bastards. <laughs> then her boyfriend in the house, Ollie. The guy who always wears those oh, nice yeah. shirts. No, that's balls, right. Yeah, right? yeah, that's fine. He can go. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're together right now in the jury house. The which, jury? Yes. There's a jury house? Yeah, we time? keep them sequestered because when it's down to the final two, the last seven people who got kicked out vote between the final two who deserves the half million dollar prize. Wow. Yeah. That's, that, the, them's high stakes. I know. That's this high is, stakes, that it is. It is, yeah. it is. And Michelle, the uh, Portuguese girl with the long curly brown hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who wore the red leotard that you Oh, liked. yes, yes, yes. She's, She's gone. So oh, come on, you I built know. me up and then you knocked me down. No, but that, that other pretty uh, blonde with the funny laugh. Oh, She's yeah. She's still there right what now. What's her name again? Keisha. Keisha. And she's a, she's yeah. a Hooters girl. She works at Hooters here She in works LA. at Hooters. Who would have thought? <laughs> no, really. I mean, I'd have thought, you know, that she's obviously in some kind of, you know, legal thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, by day she practices law, and by, by night, night she's she a works Hooters, Hooters girl. Hooters, hey, I'm going to pitch that to CBS. <laughs> by day she's a Hooters girl. No, night she's a Hooters girl. Lawyer Hooters girl. Lawyer waitress. Be the new thing. It could be. Detective waitress, there's been a murder. <laughs> there's been a murder, here's the specials. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deadly serious. Talk to Les about I, that. I think work. it might you know, work. It's I, all I, I, uh, I, I, have we got the link up to the house tonight? We do. Let's oh, check good. in. I think right. I've been wondering why for the last couple of weeks we haven't talked to them. Right. Let's see if we can. Hi, oh, house guests. Hi, 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 hi house guesties. How are you? But it's, it's thinning out in there a little bit, isn't it? Just a little. Oh, dear. You're, are you lonely? There is. Yeah. Yes. yes. Boy, it's really party atmosphere in there now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's worth it to be in there if you're competing for half a million dollars. Yeah, I mean... Loneliness it's, it's, isn't so bad, right? Right. Right, what happens? Couldn't you form an alliance and just, like, you know, all kind of get together in a conspiracy and split the money? No. Okay, okay. I'm glad you asked that. No, right. because they know, we've drilled it into them by now. You guys know that you can't make deals to split the money because that's not allowed. I mean, that's... 
that against the that wall. Would yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that would be awful. Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> and kiss it goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who's up for it? Is MD up for eviction at the moment? The two ladies sitting in the two green no! chairs. Yes. Are you crazy? Renny, Renny in the black, who's been to Scotland. Oh, that's right. I remember you, Renny. How are you? I'm doing fine, darling. What I wanted to tell you about uh, my husband was a pipe liner. Do you remember? Oh, yes. Yeah, he can lay some pipe now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I missed that. Sorry. He can lay some pipe now. Oh! That's what she said. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> and how about, how about Jerry hanging in there? Yeah, Jerry, you're doing uh, fantastically well. Years old, yeah, yeah. Oldest guy to ever be on reality television. What age were you when you went into those, Jerry? About 40? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> how old were you when you first entered the house? Yeah. 75. 75, <laughs> right. Well, good, good luck and congratulations on making it this far. Can I talk to the lovely lady who works in Hooters? Oh, no. <laughs> Keisha. Keisha, hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Which, which hooters do you work in when you're not in the house? <laughs> and which law firm during the day? Yeah. And is it true that you, you work in a law firm also? That's my day job. That's what we said! That's what we said! I don't quite understand. When it gets down to this, this low uh, number, who, how does the, the voting work then? The last seven people to get kicked out, they're all in sequester right now in the jury house, and they have to hear the arguments that the two finalists give as to why they deserve to win the half million dollars. The other right. person gets $50,000, so it's not like they go home empty No, 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 it's good and money, yeah. Then, so the jury of seven will vote who deserves it more. So, you know, they're, usually you go into that final phase with a lot of hurt feelings. Yeah, is the atmosphere tense in the house now, house guests? Is it, is it difficult? Yeah, Craig, as you can see, the entertainment's at an all-time low, so on behalf of all the house guests, we'd like to, to invite you to join us for about 24 hours. What do you say? Um, how could I put this delicately? Not in your <laughs> life. Teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Not no, used to I, that language. I'm sorry. It, it means something different where I'm from originally. <laughs> no, it, it must be very difficult. I do sympathise. I, I, do, do you do you find yourselves uh, have it being difficult to be civil to each other now when you when these high stakes uh, yeah, times, big money little, is around? It gets a little tense at times, for right. sure. Right. Right. What about uh, what about arm wrestling or something? Or maybe the girls could have a pillow fight. <laughs> We try to encourage that nightly, actually. That would be so awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome? They might do it tonight. You know? Really? You have to check out Big Brother. I will. How do I get to the Big Brother on, online with the Google? How do you get there? Oh. Get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just go to CBS.com and CBS we'll get you com. there. All right. Uh, we'll that's, get you your feed. You bet you will. Right. All right. Uh, thank you, house guests. Good luck, hey, everybody. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Um, so uh, we'll say bye-bye to them, and then we can <laughs> talk about them. They're, they look forward to that every week. <laughs> there can't be a lot going on. They must be going crazy. Well, there, there's a lot of manipulation you going on. sense the tension. That was like my last marriage, that in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty thick, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, I Did was getting... Did she leave with a half million dollars? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please welcome Julie Chen, everybody. Welcome, Julie. Thank you. It's nice to Chen's Day. We used to call Wednesday Chen's Day because you come on and give the Big Brother update, but now it's it's uh, it's Monday. But we're calling it Jen's Day. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're calling it. You look sense. very nice. I love your black dress. Thank very classic, you. Very Thank stylish. A little bit vampire-y, if you don't mind. Yeah, you're this vampire thing. I like the vampire thing. Do you enjoy the vampires? No, I don't. I don't like. I don't like scary movies. I don't like any of that scary oh, stuff. Oh, stop! No. You must. No, not at all. Really? I like happy topics. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, wow, Big Brother gets a little scary from time to time. It does. Isn't it? With not yoga in a on people's way. legs. And oh, don't act like you've never had that. Come what on. yoga on my leg? <laughs> yeah. Just telling you what I heard. <laughs> I uh, I do. I'm lactose intolerant. 
which means yogurt on my leg makes me farty. Is yogurt, <laughs> is, yogurt uh, is yogurt a dairy product? Is it? Yeah. Uh, does it count yeah. as lactose? Um, I would think so. You probably, you know, did you study yes. on this question before you came out here? Yes, they gave me the, you know, suggested questions from you, and yeah. I studied it up, and I'm going to yeah, say Yeah, I'm going to ask you yes. about yogurt in Absolutely, yeah. I don't know, what is yogurt made of? Is it cheese curd? It's, isn't it like, I don't know, pasteurized? I don't, what, uh, is, uh, what is yogurt made of? It's made of yogs, I think. I think they get yes. <laughs> wild yogs, and they crush them with big hands, <laughs> giant farmers in Stockholm. It's like, I don't know, I want to say it's like yeast and it's been sitting there a while and it's been pasteurized. No, that's I have no beer. idea. That's beer, isn't that's it? That's beer. Hey, beer on your leg, yogurt on your leg, What's it's all the fun. Yeah. Now, listen, tell me about what happened in the house this week then. Who's gone, who's staying? There, we're down to the final four. Right. There's only one woman left, that girl, Keisha, that you saw. That guy, Dan, that you saw putting the yogurt on her leg. Yeah. He actually won a luxury competition and for the first time in two months, he got a trip outside the house. Oh. So he went to a private island. He doesn't realize it's Catalina. He thinks that we like flew him to some <laughs> exotic <laughs> private island. Let him think that. And it was odd because he saw, you know, gas prices and billboards. So he knows what movies and television shows are being promoted right now. I mean, these people have been locked away from the real world. And I think it was an odd experience for him. Uh, well, if he went to a private island and he saw, you know, he thinks it's a private island, but he sees gas prices. In movies. How private does he think this island is? <laughs> I mean, this is well, a, it's a private island with a gas station? <laughs> right. It was his journey to the private island. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, did, how did you get him there then? Didn't you I, take I, him on a, on a chopper. Hello. We got him, yeah, yeah. We got him on a chopper, so. And I guess we didn't blindfold fold him the whole time. Sometimes should, we do that. What, blindfold him? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they don't know I'm, where they're going. I'm up for a bit of that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of yogurt yeah, on me. Yogurt it's my all done. Yeah, when I all right, what's that? And you're like, is it yogurt? Maybe. <laughs> uh, do we, uh... Naughty. <laughs> naughty. What? I did, you, you're the one that was naughty. Yeah, you started this. I did not start it. You were doing the naughty thing. I was just talking about yogurt in my life. Now, <laughs> do we have the live feed to the Big Brother house? Is it there? Come on, let's see. Do we talk to the folks? Hi, housemates. Hey. How are you? Oh, yeah. For us. Yeah, uh, now you're down to four now, are you? Yes. Yeah. Who, who are the who are the four? Like Keisha and Jerry yeah, and in the tank top, Memphis in the royal blue V-neck tee, and, and Dan, Dan, who's in always his St. Mary's, uh, you know, football T-shirt. He coaches a football team at a Catholic school in Michigan. How how are the team doing right now? You don't know, do you? Yeah, Craig, if you could give me a score, I'd love to hear it. But, uh, you know, Mrs. J Mrs. Julie will not give me any information on the St. Mary's Mrs. football Mrs. team. Mrs. Oh, Julie? Wait, okay, we have to explain why he calls her Mrs. Julie. For yeah. the first three weeks of the show, Dan trying to be very respectful, every time I would talk to him, he would say, hello, Mrs. Chen, you look lovely tonight. Uh, so the third time I thought, you know what, I'm going to just nip it in the bud and correct it now. And I said, thank you, Dan, I am married. And Mrs. Chen is my mother. Oh. I'm not Mrs. Chen. I thought you were married to the famous show business executive, Les Chen. <laughs> People have called him Mr. Chen. <laughs> oh, not, not yes, my they company. Have. I wouldn't do it. He's now, a good sport about it. Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, now, the, uh, so, now, who's up for eviction then? What's going on? Memphis and Jerry and the Mem two Memphis players. and Jerry and the... Now, Jerry, um, you used to dress up when you were getting on the, the, the link up to the show. You kind of let it go a little bit. What's going on? <laughs> I ran out of clothes. They're all in the washer. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was, that was the late night, you know, after hours look, you know? A little bit more skin showing, you know. Yeah, that's... I, I like I, it, Jerry. Yeah, no, it does. It does look good, Jerry. And I like that you're not wearing the hat anymore. We get to see your face a little more. It's nice. Now, are you, uh, are you, are you finished with this? Are you tired of it? Are you fed up? Do you just want out and you don't care? No, I love it here. Really? <laughs> I get to see you once a week and I always love to see Julie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But uh, when you get out of the house, Jerry, you can watch him five nights a week. Yeah, and you can see, you can see Julie every time Les Chen isn't around. <laughs> You're not homesick, Jerry? I'm, I'm doing very well here. I'm, uh, I, I'm having a habit of sticking around. Yeah, well, good for you. Good Why habit. not? And, and how, does, how does the elimination work now? Uh, because there's four people, so they can... Who, what the... Well, there's going to be one person who votes tomorrow. Because right. when you're head of household, also known as HOH... HOH or HO, yeah. You don't vote. <laughs> right. And if you're nominated, you don't vote. So the one person who doesn't really have the title or, you know, is not on the chopping block. So they block, have all power. All the power. Who has all power right now, then? 
Currently, it would be Keisha. Keisha? Right, Keisha, because she's not HOH, and she's not... Why do you laugh? She's laughing because she said she wasn't HOH. Keisha! <laughs> Keisha, have you any idea who you think it might, who you think it might be? Could you give us a clue? Ah, uh, I, I can't do that. But have you made your mind up already? Well, let's just say things around here can change really fast. That's a good way of putting that, it, Keisha. That's, that, yeah, that's that you, a girl. You want to get a job in politics? Uh, <laughs> you get out of there. Well, listen. Uh, good luck to you all, and uh, and we'll let we'll, we'll we'll get the results when tomorrow. When tomorrow? Tomorrow. There's going to be three of them left. Well, good luck to you all, and congratulations uh, to all four of you to making it this far. It's a remarkable achievement. Well done. Uh, we'll great. see you Bye. next time. Bye. 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 Well, there you go. That's it. Yeah. Do you know who's going to be here? I, I know who it won't be. Well, it definitely won't be Dan because he's, he's HOH. Got, he's safe. But yeah. the reason she was being coy is because, you see, Memphis won a competition where he can take himself off the block, which means she goes in the chair. So she knows that she might be going home or Jerry. It's be, you know, it could well, be. This is, this is. It's crazy, it's this cr game. Yeah, I know. I can feel my buttocks clenching. <laughs> But I think you like the yogurt. yogurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go. Julie Chen, everybody. We'll be right back. About that. Please welcome the wonder that is Julie Chen, everybody. Yeah. Julie Chen. Welcome. <laughs> Sonia, the CBS I know, photographer that's what I was is like, here. I didn't know. So, hi, Sonia. Oh, you know her? <laughs> well, now I do because you said her all name. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I've seen her at Big Brother a few times. Oh, I right. should mention, you know, it's because, I think it's because every time we have a live show in Big Brother and someone gets evicted, Sonia or someone from the CBS photography department is there because they wait, really wait. want the house guest. Wait, wait, wait. CBS have a photography department? <laughs> I, I need to stop talking. <laughs> What's Never going mind. on? <laughs> it's a freelance department. All right, okay. okay. Hey, now, um, you probably, the folks probably can't tell because you're, and also the lighting in the studio, but you are, you're, you're, you're uh, expecting a baby soon, aren't you? I am. Congratulations. I, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Really, to both of you. I, uh, congratulations. I know, it's my first, um... <laughs> pregnancy, so I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. And yeah. it's like, wow, lots of changes. I mean, I'm six Ooh, You months. wait till the baby arrives then, you get <laughs> I some... Know, I know, yeah. exactly. We just got back from, from vacation. Right. And it was funny because someone said, oh, this is the best way to travel with your baby, you know. The baby already has food all the time, <laughs> always with you. You don't have to carry anything. I'm like, you're right. I called it the baby moon that we went on. The baby moon? Yes, the oh, honeymoon. Oh, like the honeymoon and then the baby moon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then it'll be good night moon for years. Yeah. <laughs> good night, stars. Good night, sky. Good night, la, 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 la. Every damn night, in and out. And then suddenly, you're a jerk. <laughs> I know, I've heard about the teenage years. Well, I don't know anything about that, other than my own. But I, uh, my son is only eight. Yes, Milo's just a little boy. Yeah, no, he is, yeah, no, but he's already, he's very clever. He said to me the other night, he said, Dad, your grown-up jokes are not funny to me. <laughs> You're going because no, 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 they're I, a little bit no. racy for an what? eight-year-old boy, right? I to understand. He watch the show. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, he should be no. sleeping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, do you know if you're uh, having a, a boy or a girl, or do, do you want to even talk about it? We that? do, and we decided that after Fourth of July we would release it. So you're the first person I'm telling. Um, yes. The, well, of the public, uh, we're having. I'm the public. Yeah, your show. You're on the public airwaves. <laughs> no, I know. I'm kidding. Uh, we're having a boy. Oh, congratulations! That's lovely. Thank you. Congratulations. Now, to be fair, to be fair, I would have also said congratulations if you were having a girl. That's so, true. I know. You and go, everyone Aww. would have applauded too. It would have been much of <laughs> the same reaction. It's not like every, you said we're having a girl and everyone would go, oh. <laughs> No, no, they wouldn't. But have you got any ideas for names or anything yet? We've talked about names, mm -hmm. and it's funny because I always thought um, I would never be one of those people that wanted, like, an original name, you know, because a I... A Hollywood don't... name? Be careful now. Yeah, well, yeah what is a Hollywood name? Apple is a Hollywood <laughs> name. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, you know, sometimes there are, like, made-up words that aren't really even words. Right. For example, I have a friend who, her name is Rennell. Rennell. And it's actually spelled Ron and Al because her dad is Ron and her mom is Allison. I thought you were going to say her dad is Ron and her other dad is Al. And I was like, 
Couldn't be like, not in California, that. girlfriend. <laughs> Well, at least she told me that was right, the story. Right. Um, and then when I found out I was pregnant, I was thinking, okay, you know, my husband's name is Leslie. I know. He's and my boss. Yes. <laughs> he's my boss, too, technically. Yeah, well, he's not your boss anymore, baby. That's, uh, no, no, no. The balance of power has shifted some time ago. I, have no I don't comment. know if anyone's told you, but you're the boss now. I'll just, I have no comment about that. Right, okay. Uh, so we'll probably stick to a traditional boy name. What, like uh, Bob? I, that I won't discuss. Maybe Craig. Craig's yeah. a great name for a kid, I tell you. Craig's it's never done best. me wrong. <laughs> never done me wrong. That is a nice name. Yes. It's a studly name. Studly name. And it, it's, uh, it's Gallic, you know. It's Gallic for Peter. <laughs> That's true. Don't dare you laugh at my heritage, you bastard. <laughs> It is. It's Gaelic for Peter because uh, Jesus said, on this rock I build my church, and Peter was the rock, and then so in the Gaelic they call a rock Craig, so it's, it's Craig oh, the rock, oh, yes. okay. So then you could never name your child Craig as the first name, Peter as the second name, because then it would be redundant. No, you could do that. Oh, you could? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why not? It's America. Wait, well, you yeah, can do whatever you, you want. Do you, you, you can call apple. your kid Apple if you want, yeah. It's a, <laughs> Now, tell me about the new season of Big Brother. How's that all going to shape up? Have you got a whole bunch of new skanks and hoes? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. Would that be so wrong if we did? No, no, no. Uh, we have 12 new dynamic personalities. Ah, right. And we decided, you know what Big Brother essentially boils down to being back in high school. It gets very clicky. It gets very backstabby. can get very petty at times. Mm. So this year we decided when we throw the 12 strangers into the house, after they kind of size each other up and get familiar with each other and form opinions, we're going to announce to them, listen... We're going to put you back in high school and put each of you in one of four clicks. And we decide which click you're in. Do you want to know the four, four clicks? You yeah, had clicks in, in high school in I, Scotland. I, I, I drove to high school when I was 12, for God's sake. <laughs> I, I don't know anything. We've got the brains. The brains, right. We've got the athletes. Right. That, we call them the jocks. Yeah, I know. It's the jocks. Before. You call them jocks, which is not insulting. Right. Uh, we have the popular group. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we have the offbeat. Offbeat. That's the sort of Janine Garofalo's. <laughs> I love her. I love she's Janine so Garofalo funny. too, but she's kind of offbeat. And she I probably, mean, if she was sitting right yes. here, I'd say, Gene, you're kind of offbeat. And she'd be like, you, you got me, sister. She even said. <laughs> yes, you're, you're right. I think yeah, she I know, would say. nothing against Janine Garofalo, but she's offbeat. Yes. And we love her for it. Janine Garofalo's on Big Brother this season? Could be. Could be a twist. No. No, no. But we do not. have another twist other than these clicks. Right. After we tell them which click they're in and they start getting to, you know, bond and figure out like, oh, I'm an offbeat or I'm a, you know, jock or whatever it is, we are sending in a 13th house guest to join one of the clicks. You crazy bastards. <laughs> Someone actually that you will recognize. Someone I recognize. The people at home will recognize, and the house guests will definitely have an opinion on. Is and that celebrity? I'm not saying more than that. You have to see tomorrow night. Is it your baby? <laughs> <laughs> Depending on my delivery day, it could be. <laughs> That's weird. And who would vote out a baby? I don't know who's going to vote out a baby. The baby's going to win, hands down. I know. It'd be Ladies and like, gentlemen, the winner of Big Brother, Julius, right there. <laughs> a good ring. I know, I think we're both in a hell of a lot of trouble right yeah, now, I actually. Yeah, I think so, yeah. too. All right. <laughs> Julie Chen, everybody, we'll be right back. Please welcome Julie Chen, everybody. Julie Chen. Sensational. I mean, just sensational, Thank may I you. say. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have to be careful about where I lean. I hurt my arm. I know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm sorry trying to, to find hear a way. that. I might but you have to look lean great. Like... Go for it. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, that's if fine. I look like this? It's actually kind of studly. You just need like a glass of cognac or something, doesn't it? <laughs> it, looks like an, it looks like an ad. Uh, no. <laughs> nice to see you, Julie. Welcome to the show. I see you've, uh, you've upped the ante on the Big Brother this year with the people jumping on big sausages filled with... You know, that was our first competition in the house for the title of Head of Household. Yeah, because for nothing says leader like being able to hold on. Uh... 
Those were actual, actually giant punching bags, you know, that boxers use. They're not real sausages? I know it's hard to believe. Wow. But um, the name of the competition, yeah. which we did not air, we edited it out. The name of the competition was Hot Dog, We Have a Wiener. <laughs> You should have sent it over, and we'd have used it here, yeah. Well, because we're on so late at night, I figured I could say it, but I think right. for prime time, we thought, maybe I shouldn't say Hot it. Hot dog, we have a wiener? That's, that's not bad. It's, it's, not, it's not like you said penis or anything. <laughs> I mean, you implied it, for sure. I'm not saying another right. word. No, I imply penis all me. the time here. It's all right, it's fine. I have to imply penis at my age. <laughs> I can only imply it. It's like chicken. <laughs> I'm not even. No, 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 don't. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. So, how are things? So the last time I saw you, you were about to have your baby, and now clearly things have changed. Charlie was born nine and a half months ago. Nine and a half months. We actually announced on your show that we were having a boy, yes, my husband and I. Right, yeah, yeah. And um, he's wonderful. And I have to say, becoming a parent is the only thing in life that is not overrated. You yeah. know, everyone says, oh, you have to have, you know, a child, it'll change your life. It's so much fun. And you, you never know until you get there. And it's the only thing that you're like, yeah. It and is it's fantastic when they're babies, because when they get, my son is nine now, and he's just at the age where he's starting to hate me. No, boy, boys don't do that. I'm sure no. Milo loves you. No, he does, yeah, in a way, as long as I, you know, keep the cash coming. <laughs> he's no dummy. Nah, he's all right. Yeah. So Charlie's nice. He's, he won't be walking yet, then, will he? No, he just started to crawl about a week ago. Right. But he's doing that commando crawl, you know, when no you're... No underwear crawling around? <laughs> Why, he's just like his father. <laughs> you hey, in trouble well, now. I never said anything. We can cut that out. <laughs> Do they know who... Oh, you, you don't know that uh, uh, Charlie's father is Les Moonves. He's the head of CBS and my, my boss. Yeah. So that's why. You're, see what a week off does? You get yeah, ready. you know, I, I got my... I, it's a little crazy. I shouldn't have said that. It's a painkiller's talking, Les. I don't in any way think that you... He does. He crawls around the house in no underwear. I've seen him. <laughs> You didn't hear it from me. All right. <laughs> no. But no, he does the commando crawl where he's, you know, on his forearms and his whole body is still laying We're up. talking about Charlie, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. All right. No, and he does that and it's so cute. No, it's very, it's very so nice. Cute. Yeah. You know that they, uh, the, when they start walking, though, they are, their bodies change. Is, is, he, is he fat right now? A little he's chubby? Chunky. He yeah, they get that look. Eat. And, and I, I kind of want that chunkiness to stay. I know now that he's getting so mobile, he's going to start slimming down, but he's just such a cute little butterball. I know, right it's now. lovely. They're li like little, it's like your little own, your own little shut in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they start moving, and then it's a, a, it's a new level of hell after that. I've heard. Well, then it'll be good for, cause, for me because it'll be a workout for me too. Because, yeah, you know, yeah, losing no. the baby weight has been very hard. For me too. I had a terrible time. <laughs> I had a terrible time with it. <laughs> so listen, you're, uh, what's the, the new show you're, you're going to be doing? You're doing, the, you're doing the Big Brother show, and are you doing this other show as well? Well, the other show is just a pilot right now. It's, uh, we call it The Mom Project, and right. it's basically five women, all mothers. You've heard of the women, Sharon Osbourne, Leah right. Remini, Sarah Gilbert, Holly Robinson, Pete, and me. Right. So we have children of different ages, and... It's a kind of hot topic show. We talk about our lives. We talk about what girlfriends sit around and talk about. We'll talk about everything from being a new mom, you know, like me, to what would you do if you were married to Tiger Woods, to, you know, the issues that are out there that everyone's talking about. Yeah. So it's, What would you do if you were married to Tiger Woods? Uh, we are on late at night, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But the show is just a pilot Julie, right Julie, now. I asked you a question. <laughs> What would you um, do? I mean, I'm not in any way implying anything, but what, you know. Adios. Okay, yeah, would you? Uh, big time. Would you be like, I think so. you'd be Look, like, I'm sorry, 100 million and I'm out of here, Tiger, and that's <laughs> that? <laughs> and not a penny less. Right. Uh, but we find out if this show, which we're calling The Mom Project right now, whether or not it gets picked up to actually become a series this week, so. Who, who's we'll, deciding that then? Well, you know, <laughs> you know the command, <laughs> the person who does command. <laughs> I see. So, so the politics must be interesting around your house well, this no, week. Well, no, I said to him, I said, pick the best show. I don't want it, you know, be put on the air, and then it wasn't the best show, and then only get canceled, yeah. like, within X Well, let, I, I have to say, I have some experience of your husband saying no to me, and <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't seem to, he's not bad, but he's, he can say no oh, and yes. then move on, yeah. He is. I don't move on, but he moves on. Right? <laughs> he is unbelievably fair. 
It's, he's a Libra. Yeah, okay. He's a Libra. No, he's very fair. He's a what? A he's Libra? a Libra. Oh. You know, they're very balanced people. Yeah, I suppose. So <laughs> it, it bothers me sometimes. And my son is a Libra, which I'm, I'm glad is he, he very, is. Is he very balanced, your son? Uh, we'll well see. until he starts walking, and then, you're gonna, <laughs> then it's going to be a bit wiggly. He's going to look like he's drunk. No. I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's he really fun. Talking. No, I, I, I envy that. It's a very fun time when they start walking around and you can chase them. <laughs> <laughs> Down an alpine. What was it called? Oh, man. The, oh, um, yes. oh, it's terrible. Really? I'm sorry. I'm I know. Sorry I'm sorry, to sorry too. <laughs> I'm dying to see it. No, I've heard a lot of women have said that to me. And not. <laughs> Oh, shut up. There's a theme going no, here. No, no, no. I mean, I, a lot of women have said, particularly about the wound. I mean, see, guys don't want to see the wound, but women are like, oh, let's see it. And I'm like, no, it's a private injury. Well, you guys don't want to see and be like, whoa, that was rough. Yeah. They don't, really? They don't want, I would think they would want to see. I think it's a human thing. I don't know why women want to see the wound, but. I think that they like to see men in some kind of pain. <laughs> If it's not too bad, if it's just enough to be really, uh, you know, awful but not, not like dangerous, I think women rather enjoy that. I couldn't help but think. I couldn't help but think maybe Elon Woods would. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, Woods, yeah, yeah. Tiger Woods. Cer is, well, maybe yeah. just a certain person. Yeah, I think she'd like him to go down that slide like a commando <laughs> with the. Uh, and no underwear. No underwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be burns all oh, over. Oh yeah, that 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 slow you down in Vegas, Tiger. <laughs> Seventeen mistresses. Thank you. I'm sorry, Julie. We're trying to get better class of hobos in here, right? This is not working out. Anyway, listen. Congratulations. Fingers crossed for your show. Thank you. Oh no, fingers crossed. Not oh that. yeah. No, 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 no. Th th thank you. Non-denominational <laughs> fingers crossed. Controversial prayer stance. No thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, well, good. Well, say hi to Les and Charlie for me. I will. All right. We'll speak to you soon. Take the care. The lovely of your Julie Chan. Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah. Please welcome the lovely Julie Chan, everybody. Julie Chan. Are you ripping up the questions? I'm ripping up the questions, I but I love it. Them. We're just going to wing it. Hi, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Je he's funny tonight, Jeff. He's not saying much. You all right, Jeff? Oh, dear. Silent treatment. <laughs> what did you do to him? Did you buy him a treadmill? No, well, that's kind of you think. He doesn't need to lose any more weight. Would you be annoyed if your lovely husband bought you a treadmill? Not that you need one. I, in fact, I wish I hadn't brought it up. Uh, by that look? No, personally, I wouldn't be offended, but I think he knows better? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does this look like a treadmill? No, no, that's that's <laughs> not it. Oh, that's lovely. Is that This diamonds. was my first Mother's Day gift. Oh. And I wasn't sure if, you know, he was going to get me anything cuz you know, I don't know. It's like a weird, you know, holiday. What Mother's Day? Well, he's my husband clearly and yes, you know, I could be one of those women who thinks, okay, he has to get me something for carrying his child for nine months. And yeah, all that this. would be and a I, woman. Right. <laughs> but I didn't want to be that woman. I right. didn't want to be right. that woman. Okay. Right. And then as Mother's Day was approaching, I found myself becoming that woman, but I stayed quiet. Yes. And I, I didn't say, I thought, you know what, he loves me and it doesn't matter. But then when he showed up with the box, I was really happy and then I felt really shallow. And then I opened it and I was really, really happy and I felt even That's more... That's the kind of day terrible. I'm having as well. It's, it was terrible. It's crazy. I feel like I'm apologizing on the one hand, I'm mad at people at the other hand. I don't know where I am today. It's You're, awful. It's like the push I'm, pull. I'm being push pulled. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I had a lot of coffee. I have a, I have a solution for you. What? Go into the Big Brother house. Yeah, what is the deal with that big? I thought Big Brother, you just observed them. Now you got them dressing up in cars. You got gay guys leading parades up and down. The <laughs> well, they have to participate in competitions. That was a luxury competition. They broke up into three different teams of three each. And whoever made it through that car wash obstacle course that you saw in the shortest amount of time won a luxury. And the luxury was we let them screen a movie. In the house. I mean, you have to keep in what mind. What movie was it? I mean, it was the other guy with um, Will Ferrell and. Um, All right, I haven't seen that yet, so I don't Marvel. know if that's a luxury or not. I mean, no, uh, it, it, 
Look, you have to you have to remember that these people are cut off from the outside world. Yeah. They don't have any telephones. They don't yeah. have any television. Boo hoo! Magazines. I grew up in Scotland. What's your point? <laughs> They're craving anything but right. each other. They've been forced to live with each other, and and they started out as total strangers. Some of them don't get along, but you know there have any been sexy business going on. Two showmances this year. You know what a showmance is? I'm guessing it's when people on the show hook up. Right. I gave that up, Craig. <laughs> We're having a showmance. No treadmill in this no show, treadmill man. No treadmill for him, no. <laughs> uh, I'd like to, I would like my show, Big Brother, to take credit for coining that term showman. Showman. Right. When two people on a reality show get involved in a romantic relationship, it's called a showman. Well, how romantic is it if you're in a house with all these other people? There's They're cameras on you when you're, you know, getting it on. They're having sex. They're having sex? They're well, that's... having sex. The one showman's in the house right now, they're having sex. Brendan and Rachel. But off, they're off. talking about marriage. They're talking about this is once in a lifetime. I meet someone like you. I mean, this, yeah, we might have. Really? You think there'll, there'll be a marriage in the Big Brother? They're talking about it, but lately they've been fighting a lot. Sounds like they're on their way. <laughs> <laughs> it is a marriage. Yeah. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been in front? I have. Do you I, like it? You like I it? love it. I just went on vacation um, last month, two months ago, and my last day, I got so sick I couldn't eat anything. It was such a That's waste. That's a real punishment in, in France. France yeah, in all yeah, no, places. They're, they're not bad with the food. I don't know why they're not all fat, though, because they're all uh, quite thin and, and lovely. I think because they eat smaller portions and every, nothing has preservatives in it. It's yeah. all fresh. Well, that's just un-American. I know. Yeah. I, <laughs> Well, it's the, criminal. Well, the small portions thing is just ridiculous. I mean, you got all that lovely food and you're only eating little bits of it at a time. I know. What the hell is that? They say you should eat the size of your fist. No, no, no. I like to eat the size of Tony Robbins' fist at every meal. <laughs> <laughs> you ever Does met him? Uh, no, I haven't, but... Oh, he's huge. Yeah. I sat next to him in a restaurant once. He's, he's like, he eats chickens like popcorn. Is he really... <laughs> <laughs> he's like... Is, They're alive as well. Is everything about him big? He's tall, huge, hands. giant, big, giant face. I have no idea what his genitalia is like, but I can only imagine. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked that. Well, question. you were going I in that you, direction. You were going in that no, direction. I meant like, like you mentioned his hands. I thought right. you know because he also has like big teeth, right? Well, He's like he, big. He needs them big. for the chickens. <laughs> These giant slabs crushing down like that. He's like, I'll show you Shark Week. Ha <laughs> ha. Speaking of Shark Week. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're, it just aired on Discovery yeah. tonight. You went swimming with yeah, these sharks. Yeah, I went swimming. Well, you interviewed me for it. I got interviewed by you on the early show. That, that it turned around. I know. It was, yeah. Wasn't it odd? It was me just interviewing exactly you? like this, wasn't it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. but I held all the cards. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas I hold all the cards right That's now. That's true. You do. You do. But we've, Jeff we, holds all the cards. Jeff does hold all the cards. Can um, he go in the Big Brother house if you can't? Yeah. You, would you go in the Big Brother house, Jeff? Yep. <laughs> There you go. You can have them for an afternoon. We would love uh -oh. it. Yeah. As long as you get me a treadmill. Our relationship hasn't gone to that point no, yet. Right. No, Fair no, enough. no. Yeah. Would you be offended if your wife bought you a treadmill? Um, well, technically, I suppose, no. I don't know. Is this a trick question? Kind of. I mean, you know... You asked the two nice ladies right. that question, and I feel like too often women have this uh, reputation of being like very demanding. I want this, I want that. Don't you buy me a treadmill? It has to sparkle. I want jewelry. But we're not all like that. No, I want to ask you if you were, if you got that treadmill as an anniversary gift. Yeah. How would you respond? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want for your anniversary from your wife? Just oh, her company. To say. <laughs> Just her company and the oh. knowledge that she's happy. A good answer. Uh. Now, is that the truth? <laughs> he's, a, he's a good husband. <laughs> does your wife watch your show every night? Uh, does your husband watch your show every morning? No, <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, well, no, she doesn't. No, I'll ask him. I'll say, did you see that segment I did? He said, I was running out the door and I'll come home and I'll see ESPN was on.
Right. I see ESPN was on as well, which kind of freaks me out. <laughs> we got to go. We're way over time. Oh, They're all okay. kind of screaming and yelling and, and uh, well, you know, none of that. They're just kind of going <laughs> yeah. and waving. Yeah. How's that go again? Oh, stop. <laughs> Julie Chan, everybody, we'll be right back. Please welcome Julie Chan, everybody. Julie Chan. Welcome, Julie. Thank you for whispering that I look sensational. You do look was sensational. It, was it the truth or was it what you think I want to hear? Look, you're a very good looking woman wearing a black dress and your hair's combed. To me, that is sensational. <laughs> Craig, That's I the love truth. You. Hey, you're a good looking woman. You're all dressed up. You get your lipstick on. I'm like, yeah. Thank you. It, it takes work, you know. But it, the, the, what you were saying, what Sharon Osbourne was saying is true, though. You don't want to get that into that situation. Well, you don't want to be in that situation, but I'm one of the few women that want to hear the truth. Now, all women think they're one of the few no. women that want to hear the truth. But she does have a point. Once they tell you the truth, and if it's you know hurtful, then you do feel like crap. But I don't want to, you know, I don't want to repeat a bad fashion mistake. You know, I want to be told, not my favorite. You have better. There's there there are ways, ways of doing to do it. it. Yes, yes, man can teach you this. Because look, <laughs> there is, is it, does does this look good on me? When 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 it doesn't, you go. Mm, well, <laughs> that's all you need to do. That's all that's you need all to, you to do. Need. Mm. Well, loud and clear. Yeah, there you go. Loud and clear. Does my ass look fat in this? A beat? No. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Very a good. Beat. Now, if you say, no way, then it's fine. But if it's the truth, you go, no. Ooh, that, that hesitation seemed like 10 years. That's how you do it. That's how you do the, that's how you help the ladies out. I'm just saying. Well, CBS <laughs> cares. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Jeff. Oh, Jeff is great, yeah. Hey, um, this show looks a little uh, familiar. Uh, uh, say it, say it. Well, say a, it, a little bit. Why is it different from The View? Except uh, you're I'll all still you. talking to each other. <laughs> well, we only just started. Yeah, yeah, we'll no, see. Yeah, yeah. Two reasons. I feel as if The View, as of the last two or three years, has gotten so political. There are times I tune in and I think, am I watching Crossfire yeah, yeah. or The View? It's, it's gotten very far away from what it started out to be. Right, which was kind of Yenta fun chat. Yeah. <laughs> which is what we want to be. Yeah, yeah. And what the second thing that makes our show. <laughs> By the way, there's room. I kind of think that would be a good title for a show, wouldn't it? Yenta chat. Yenta, no, Yenta fun chat. Oh, Yenta yeah. fun chat. Welcome to Yenta fun chat, everybody. <laughs> Love the shoes. But I think, you know what I think the biggest difference is between our show and The View? What? Is the personalities. Yes. You know, the women are, the women make the show. For example, when Whoopi or Barbara take a day off and someone else fills in, yeah. it's a different show on The View. I know, and when they have Anderson Cooper there, I'm like, who's kidding who here? <laughs> Commentary. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, I'm like, uh huh. I think we know who's paying for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay. So, but you know what? It's not just a show for women. I honestly feel if you, as a guy, tuned into our show, mm -hmm. you'd learn a thing or two about why women are the way we are, and you will learn how women think. Yeah, you, you're, you laboring under the, you're, you're laboring under the misapprehension that men care. You know? <laughs> well, no, it's, it's, the, it's, here, here's the thing. It's not that we don't care. It's not that we don't care. Pretend. I misspoke. Pretend. I misspoke. Pretend. I, no, it's not that. It's not that we don't care. It's just that we like to get by on the minimum amount possible. <laughs> For example, if you, if, if a woman, let's take the example of Spanx, right? Spanx, yes. with the ladies wear Spanx. I know they do. Oh, That's yes, we all do. all I want to know. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to know how they work, how they go on, or what they look like. This show's not for you, then. Exactly! <laughs> it is not for you. You will understand why girls need 
girl weekends, girl girlfriend getaway weekends, because this show feels like that. Right. It's a gab fest, and we talk about everything that you guys don't want to talk about. Like weekend. what? Like Spanx. Yeah. Where do you, how do they work? Yeah. What works better than Spanx? What does work better than Spanx? A corset. Ah, see, now that's interesting because a corset, I'm kind of like, a, all right. <laughs> Maybe the show is for you. Huh? Do you know, I think what it is is because a corset's kind of, got the kind of, uh, ooh, uh. <laughs> whereas, the, whereas the Spanx is just kind of like, uh. I think some men wear Spanx. Oh, I know some men wear Spanx. That's why I hug everybody that comes out here. <laughs> That's why I hug the guests. I'm like, oh, Spanx. <laughs> Drew Carey, Spanx. Right. He hasn't lost any weight at all. Just really good Spanx. <laughs> I gotta find those Spanx. Now. <laughs> Truth. Have you ever tried to try on a pair of Spanx? No. You, our producer. I won't say his name because we have two male producers. One tried to put on a pair to, to figure out, like to get in our heads. He nearly suffocated himself. <laughs> a true story. He's like, I nearly killed myself trying to, to see what you women go through putting on this space Is that what thing. you said? Did you catch him wearing women's clothing well, maybe, and he said, Maybe, I, maybe. <laughs> and like, oh, I'm trying to figure out what women go through. <laughs> That's what I say when I get caught. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah, it's all right. How are things with the baby? What age is your baby now, John? Oh, the baby just turned one a couple of weeks Ooh, ago. Ooh, walking then? No, not yet. On oh, the right. verge, on the verge. You know, walking with assistance, holding onto the side of the couch or the coffee table. Oh, I'm much like his father. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He is watching Ooh. right now from his office. Is he really? Oh, yeah. Hi, my CBS Cares. I think you're awesome, dude. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. But we had a lovely birthday party. It was just, it was small. I just, you know, I was struggling with what I want to, what do I want to do for his first birthday? And, right. I, and I, at one point I said to my husband, like, oh, maybe we should like get a petting zoo. And he looked at me with disdain and he said, that is so Hollywood. And I said, it is, it's, it's kind of gross. And I said, but think of the pictures. And then at the end of the day, I said, you know what? I want only the same people who are at the hospital. You, me, my mom and my dad. And Charlie, and that was it. And Charlie, really? he was, yep, he was at the, at pet the petting zoo. <laughs> in our in our dining room, at the head of the table, we put Charlie in his high chair, oh. and then me, my mom, my dad, and my husband Leslie all had little party hats on, and <laughs> and it was so cute. Charlie knew it was his day because he was at the head and holding court. I tell you what, that's right. I'll give you. Uh, I'll give, you, I'll give you 25 bucks of a picture for if you give me a picture of Les with a party hat on. Oh, you are on. Yeah? But you can't show it on the show. I'll give you 50 bucks if I can show it on the show. Deal. <laughs> Julie Chan, everybody! Right back. Julie Chan, Julie Chan, Julie Chan. Please welcome Julie Chan, everybody. I'm well. I see you have your baby picture. I do, yeah. It's a picture of my kids over there. I keep them there. I don't show them on camera, but I keep them there to remind me why I go through them. Uh oh. Every night. <laughs> Something has to motivate you. You gotta do it. Yeah. No, I, you know? Yeah, so that, that's what I have. How are you doing? What are you just Charlie now? Charlie is a year and a half now. Wow. He's talking up a storm, he's walking, and he said his first sentence about a week ago. What did he say? He said, I don't know. He said, I don't know, because there's a book he loves. It's called Where's the Green Sheep? And it asks this question about every three pages. You know, here is the blue sheep, here is the red sheep. But where is the green sheep? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the other night, he surprised me. He goes, I don't know. Well, I don't it must know. be infuriating to read that book over and over again. And <laughs> He's like, why do you keep asking yeah, me, Yeah, huh? I don't know. What am I, the, the shepherd in this house? <laughs> So listen, what does this mean? What were you talking about in the clip when you were doing that? I was talking about how most people at work have a work spouse. Someone that you confide in, um, kind of like a best friend. And, and my, <laughs> do you have a work spouse? What's that look for? You give me that means I want a divorce. That's what that means. <laughs> Like, Jeff could be your well, work Jeff spouse. Well, Jeff kind of, Jeff is kind of, yeah, Jeff's my new work spouse. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So I was saying, you know, there are times where you don't even need words to communicate with your work spouse. Just a simple look, and she knows what it means. That's not really a simple look, or that. That's kind of... <laughs> Nor is it all that subtle. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, if you start going like that, people are going, are you all right? Are you... Uh... <laughs> Exaggerated for the camera, but right. you know, at, at this point, I could be very subtle with it, just like a quick flare of the nostrils. Is that what you do if you want to get rid of a guest or something? Because you have to talk to a lot of people like me, and sometimes, frankly, they're a pain in the ass, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, really. I, no, I just blame it on the producer. I, I, put, I touch my earpiece. I said, "Oh, we're out of time," and then, and then the all handshake comes in. Really? This is what I do. I go like that. Oh, we're done. <laughs> That's effective. Yeah, uh, we're done. And then they go, are we? It went so fast. It went, went fast for you, bitch. And that's what we did. <laughs> I like how you're direct. Yeah, you, you got to do it. No, you got to do it. Gotta clean things it all right? The ladies still getting on on that show then? The ladies are getting on great. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, no, it's true. Oh, come on. That's, that's another show you're talking about. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. No, we're all getting on. Um, you know, we're all so different, but we're. I think we're all funny yes. and opinionated and everyone brings something different You're to the You're all a bit bossy. When I was on that show, you were all bossing me around a little bit. A bossy, little bit. boss, boss. Well, you know, sit over there, don't say anything about that. And uh, Leah Rimini said, don't ask your uh, wife to have sex with you after she's had the baby. I'm like, okay. How, how old is the baby now? He's two months. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Everything's fine. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah. But are you, are you guys getting any sleep? Well, after the sex, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, I thought with the baby at this age, probably... No, not, actually, not at all. That's why this show has completely gone downhill. I, I, I mean, I, I, and, and, it, and it was pretty low at the beginning, anyway. I have and a it, solution for you. What? You have to move into the Big Brother house. Oh, uh, that, no. You know, Are you starting, doing that again this we're summer? We're doing it again, right. and we're just starting to look for this summer's house guests. Yeah, I can't do it. You know, this this weekend in Los Angeles, there's open casting calls. Really? Is it yes. really? And then all next week, they're going to different cities in the country, which, just go to the CBS website. You can figure out where, if you want to apply or just get an application. And but what, what, kind you, of, what kind of people are you looking for, then? Are you looking for, perhaps, Larry from San Diego that can play them out? <laughs> Buddy, that's a ratings winner, Julie. Only if he brings the golden mouth organ, then he's in. You're in. Yeah. You're in. We look for a diverse group of people, all ages. Yeah, but you got to have a guy with abs, though. You always have a guy with. Oh abs. yeah, because it's summertime and they're taking those outdoor showers. They're in the jacuzzi, so you know we we get some eye candy. Yeah. For both men and women. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. No, yeah, that's what they've grown to expect. Do you like abs on a man, like hard abs, or do, I always think, is it not just men who like other men that like the hard abs, women? No, I, I prefer the gut. The gut is. No, much come hard. on. <laughs> Of course, who doesn't want the six pack? Really, the six pack? Yeah. No, don't you have just a flat stomach and maybe a tattoo or something? Mate? No, no tattoos. No tattoos. Does Les have a six pack? Oh yeah, absolutely. Les, your husband has a six pack. Yes, yes. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, can't you see it rippling through his oh, shirt yeah, at the office through yeah. his suit? Yeah, I, I. Well, I try not to look because I'm embarrassed. I get, it gets kind of hot. Because <laughs> he's my work spouse, I go in and go. <laughs> And he's like, why are you doing Julie faces at me? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'm saying, let's get out of here, Les. <laughs> don't you have those looks, okay, with your real spouse? Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, we, we do kind of like that. Do you have code words to get out of uh, sexual bondage games? <laughs> I, no, what I meant to say was embarrassing dinners, but then I said code words, and then I just went to sexual bondage games. <laughs> In two months. I don't know what I'm saying is what I'm saying. That's okay. Right. You have an excuse. Um, I, we always work out like a code. The problem is we're not consistent, my husband and I, mm. with the code. So we'll work out a code like right before we go. And then we'll get home. And I'm like, I was like going like this the whole time in my ear. And you didn't, you know, you didn't right, leave. Right. He said, I forgot. Yeah. So we have to be consistent with it. You well, know? you just choose word. And, you know, like banana is the word that we use. <laughs> just out of the blue. Yeah, you just go, oh, well, is that the time, banana? <laughs> or I'll, I'll be obvious, I'll kick him under the table. Yeah, yeah, just kidding. I have to go. And he's like, but it's good why you, are you kicking me? Well, you have a... <laughs> what, what, Wait what a are minute. you kicking me for? He said that oh, when oh, I... Oh, did I? Sorry. When we had dinner with you, I remember no, him saying it. not true. <laughs> 
What about um, what about when you have a young child? That that's the the best time because then you've always got. Oh, that's you true. Just leave. Yeah. I mean, my child is going to be probably 17, and he's and, and my husband's still going to say she's got to go nurse the baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's gotta go. We got to go. We got to right. drive him to college in the morning, so we got to get some. Uh... No, that was a very good excuse, but. It was usually true. Yeah. You know, so. When does the Big Brother start this year? It starts uh, July 6th. Right. And, you know, it's on three times a week. Oh, I remember. I never miss an episode. Me. I watch it all. Well, we used to talk to the house guests when I would come on. Yeah, I know. I remember that. What happened? To, you know, I ran into that one of those house guests when I was in Las Vegas. Uh, the one with the Ripley tummy. Um. Um. Oprah? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he a um, ball? No, no, he was the, the uh, was it Jesse, was that his name? Jesse? Oh, yeah, the guy who was Yeah, the, Jesse, the... and it was so pumped up, and I met him, and he, he was very, very nice, but I have to say I was surprised at uh, his height. Oh, he's not the tallest no, guy No, you can't tell that. Well, I thought he was like, well, and then I was like, oh, ah, look at you. <laughs> God doesn't give with both hands. Well, I, can I tell you, you I know, don't he know. had the abs. I don't know. But did you recognize him? Or he came up to you, I'm sure. Uh, well, it was dark. We were in a club. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. <laughs> banana! Banana! <laughs> no, he was very... I, 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 do, I don't want to give you the wrong impression. No, he was he was very, very nice man. Very, oh, very no, yeah. They, they seemed like very nice young people. I always think that when I watch the reality shows, you know, because uh, you read in the tabloids that people are so mean and crazy, and then I watch these kids on the Jersey Shore and go, these kids... They're no bad. They're just stupid kids. They're no, that, there's nothing wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong with, with that group. I feel as if that group is everyone growing up in Queens. I feel as if that's everyone I went to high school with. I'm All like, right. what makes them so special? That was every kid in my high school. Who were you when you were a kid? Jaywow or Snooky? <laughs> Well, if you would define me by my hair, it would have been Snooky. Yeah, you got good hair. I, I had you. big hair. Well, yeah, I still do. Great. Yeah, it's, but big hair is good. Everybody likes big hair. More is more. Except like Al-Qaeda. You know, they... Uh, <laughs> and frankly, I don't care what they like and don't like, but I, I, think, I think big hair is great. But of course, I'm an 80s guy. You're a what guy? 80s. You know, I, uh, I like, I'm from the 1980s. Well, I'm oh, from the 1960s. Oh, yes. but oh, yes. I, uh, you know. oh, no. I, I love the 80s. I love the big hair, the big shoulder pads, all that. The fashion, I wish they would bring it back. Yeah. Well, they will. That was my heyday. Really? Hey, really? Did you do a lot of cocaine? Never. No, I was, I was still a teenager in the 80s. Oh, right. Okay. And I had so what they I. call... <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. Was I? Yeah, a little bit at the beginning, yeah. Okay, you're probably... You we're not far off. Oh, no, age. you're much younger than me. I don't think so. Well, look how gray my hair is. Well, that's because you have a newborn at home. You're not oh, getting right. any sleep. Okay. And you and you. Does it come back then when he gets older? <laughs> <laughs> it'll grow back. Yes, in? it'll grow back in black. Oh, that's not what a comforting release. No, but I had I had a tiger mom growing up. You know, oh, a really? tiger mom, very strict. That's good. Yeah, from the old country, and no, I, no, I, was, I, I, I was a straight straight kid. My mom was from the old country too. It can't possibly be the same old country. Can <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be quite. That'd be like. Who saw that coming? That would be yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, listen, uh, we're done. Oh, see, that's a like banana. Yeah, yeah. Do you want uh, 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 an awkward pause or a mouth organ? What do you fancy? Um, awkward pause. Awkward pause. I think that's a wise choice given what happened with Larry tonight. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> awkward pause then. Do you want to do a smell your finger awkward pause? Do I have to smell your finger no. or mine? Well, that depends on how awkward you want to pause. <laughs> I'm game. All right, then. That clip. I'm, no. I'm amused and embarrassed, and oh, it was it wasn't good fun. It's just a game of men jumping each top of each other to squeeze milk out of them. It's, what's, where's the harm in that? You know, it's just an average day in the Big Brother house. It sounds pretty. Uh, it's getting raunchier in there, is it? 
Um, I don't know. If, well, it's raunchy every year. Yeah, yeah. I've done um, that. Because it's just Big Brother. And um, it actually, we have this saying, we say expect the unexpected to the house guests because they never know what twists and turns we're going to throw their way. But I realized we who put together the show, we have to expect the unexpected as well because we had one house guest who had to, because of personal reasons, leave the house. What, what were the personal reasons then? Uh, we will let this person say it. He was a returning house guest right. who actually won a few years ago. Yeah. He was known, his name is uh, Dick Donato, and he's known he's as... He's known as... Whoa, 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 what? His, na <laughs> his name is Dick Donato, uh -huh. but in the house he was known as Evil Dick. Ah. <laughs> I think I know this guy. Jeff, we know this guy, don't we? Yeah, I think he owes his money. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. I love your new personality. Hey, how are you? <laughs> it's the chin bot. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> yeah. All right, Careful. thank you. You look nice anyway. I like your black toga. Is that a black toga? It kind of is. Yeah. And, you know, I had a baby almost two years ago, and I'm I'm still working on, you know, the stomach yeah, is never on, the you same. Look great. Well, in this gown, it's perfect. Yeah. Because you can eat as much as you want, and you just go like this. I want one of those. I'll get yeah. one for you. No, How, speaking of babies, how's your six month old? Oh, he's all right. He's pretty good. He was at the doctor's today. He's the proper length and weight. Don't you love that? Man, I'm, I'm so thrilled. I get such a sense of achievement. I'm like, look at that. How, how can I be a bad parent? He's... The, he's healthy. Yeah, he's there. Uh, how is yours doing? He's, Charlie, he's doing great. He's speaking a lot of languages. You know, I speak what? Mandarin. Well, I my first language was Mandarin. Really? Yeah. That's kind of impressive. And I can still speak it. You know, it's conversational and it's probably like... Oh, only conversational Mandarin? <laughs> 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 well, I guess that's all right. <laughs> so I'm trying to, you know, make sure Charlie grows up speaking Mandarin. Mm -hmm. So, and it's cute. And my husband, who does not speak Mandarin. Oh, I think I know your husband. Yeah, you've heard yeah, of him before. Yeah. And um, it's it's funny because he's learning Mandarin just by default. Les is ma learning Mandarin? Shut up. By no. default. <laughs> no, by no, default. How do you yell at people in Mandarin when you're Les? Oh, it sounds so much meaner. Oh, does it? Well, you have to think about it. Mandarin sounds like a pretty, it's not one of the... What the romance languages? Oh right, right. You know, it sounds a little bit. See, 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 Craig, you're a very naughty boy at me in no, Mandarin. No, see, that's not conversational, so I can't say it. All right, say, Craig. <laughs> or I could say this. What? Um, Craig, ni se huai dan, which means you're a rotten egg, like you're a naughty. Boy. All right, you're do, do that again. All right. Craig, ni se ika huai dan. Now pull my hair a little bit. <laughs> now. That's a, no. <laughs> my husband is watching. Oh. Come on, he knows it's a joke. It's a joke, man. Yes. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are things going at the talk as well? That's your other show. Oh, I love it. You yeah, know, that, you're good at this. I like the talk show. It's a good show, though. Thank you. You've you been know, on. You're coming I, I, back I've on. I've been on. I've been on again. It's all right. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I realize after being in news for so many years, right. I ran into my old boss and he goes, how are you enjoying the talk? And I said, you know what? I realized when you first hired me, like 13 years ago, you hired me to do the news and I was getting paid to not be myself, not show how, how I felt about anything. Right. It wasn't appropriate, you know, right. editorialize. I said, now I get paid for a living to be myself. Yeah, but you, know, you, you got to be say. careful though, because you're going to upset people. If you start being yes. yourself, they're, they're going to have opinions about what your opinions are. It's true. Yeah, and, and I realize that the way out of that is like, yeah, you're still going to say have people screaming on the television, like, I can't believe she thinks that, or I can't believe she said that. And I just preface anything that I think might be controversial with, you know, what right or wrong. This is how I feel. Here's why. I know it's probably you know not popular. But it's who I am and it's how I feel. And you get away with this? Yeah, it's worked so far. <laughs> you know? You just show a little remorse. You just show a little... But show remorse up front and then say it anyway? They go, yeah, well, she admits she was wrong. What am I going to do? Call up and say... Yeah, you know what she said. I mean, yeah, no, people do that anyway. People get very annoyed at me. I say, you know, they, they get very annoyed at me. I said right. something about Harry Potter earlier. People are going crazy. I, you're, you're lying. Yeah, I'm lying a little bit. Are you excited for the Harry Potter movie to come out? You know, um, I didn't keep up with them. What? And I'm one of these people. <laughs> what? what? It's true. No, I'm staying right here. I'm talking. No, it was... Um, 
I still do not know. Like everyone, when the last book came out and the last movie was being made, they were like, oh, you know, when someone dies and someone dies, I'm probably the last person in America to know who died. I still don't know who it is that dies. So don't ruin it. But I, I, I will get around to it. I've been a little bit busy between. Well, when Charlie gets a bit older, you'll end up going through him. But Charlie's two, so you could take him to see Winnie the Pooh, the other movie that's opening Friday, which has many great voices in it. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. good. And he's perfect for Charlie. What, what were your lines? Who would you play? And I played the owl. I played the wise old owl, the one that all the other toys listen to and agree with. <laughs> Just like in real life. Yes, it's very fitting yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. No, it's the, the, the I play the character of the pompous idiot. No, you don't. I do. That's the owl. That's kind of the owl thing. I don't know. But an owl's not supposed to be pompous or an idiot. Maybe pompous, but not an idiot. Right? Do, you know, do, you, do you know anything about owls, really? You're just making <laughs> a... Take it up. <laughs> you didn't say the S word, did you? Yeah, sure I did, but I kind of went like that, so they didn't notice it. And with your accent, it's hard to say. That's right. I did. Do you make the... Take it up. Like that. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, "Do you know any owls?" Do you know any owls? Just you. Oh, I see. You turned it back around on me. No, I don't know. It was yeah. Do you have any pets? Do you have an uh, owl? Not anymore. I had a dog growing up, and if anyone who's a dog owner losing your dog is like, oh, it's terrible. Oh. Yeah, no. It's, so I can't, did you lose the dog or did the dog die? No, we had to put her down. She oh. was too old. She was sick, and it was terrible. And like, I never want to go through that pain again. So now I'm struggling with you know my little boy. He's not at the age where he can say he wants a dog, yeah. but I know we're going to get there. You sure? He might be saying it in Mandarin. And then, uh, my, <laughs> and my husband will have no idea what he's saying. Yeah, well, that's what you, I'm sorry, pal. I don't speak Mandarin, but no dog, just so as you know. <laughs> you know what you do is you train them by getting hamsters. I'm not a hamster person. Nobody's a hamster person. Oh, I look, I look forward to your letters, hamster yeah, yeah. people. But, but what you do is you get them a hamster because hamsters are suicidal. All hamsters... <laughs> All hamsters want to do is get round behind the refrigerator and die. That's all they want to do. It's their goal in life. By they the get way, right there is some truth to that. I had a hamster growing up. All I know is I went away on vacation with my mom and one sister, and my other sister was in charge of watching the hamster. I came back. I said, where's Hammy? Hammy? Hammy. <laughs> Hammy the hamster. And she said, he died. I said, how? And she said, well, he got really fat. She said, I didn't realize that, you know, that plastic toy with that hard shoe with the holes? I didn't realize he got too fat for it. He crawled in and he couldn't get out and he suffocated. Oh, Lord. I was traumatized in that, too. I'm, I'm kind of traumatized now as well. I'm <laughs> kind of wishing the planes went out now. I can't hear this. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. Les isn't really watching. It's right. Is he really? Quite done. Oh. Da Naughty. Oh. Here. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, dance with me like we learned in Scotland. <laughs> my first, my first. <laughs> Are you all right? You dance like you're having a stroke. <laughs> my first guest tonight is the host of The Talk, which airs each afternoon on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Chinese. Dude, you look fineese tonight, let Why, me tell thank you. you. I'm you look lovely. I mean, re I like this. You know, isn't it? It's, it's a new thing. Do you know what I think it's like? Do you ever see these movies, old movies, when the beautiful gypsy girl plays the violin before Count Dracula bites her? You are not going to bite me. <laughs> I wasn't going to until you said that. Now I'm thinking, play the violin and we'll see where it ends up. Now, that could be interpreted as something slightly racist. Being Asian and playing the violin. Oh, I didn't even thought about no, that. No, I know you're yeah. not. But that was, you know, growing up Chinese, it was not Chinese then. It was either, take your pick, piano, violin, 
or the abacus. You know, it was like one of the three. That would have been luxury where I grew up. <laughs> now listen, you're a professional broadcaster. You've been doing it for some time. You're very accomplished. And have you ever been to Britain? Yes. Right. Have you ever noticed how people start talking like this on television and then finish yeah. like this? It, you know, I do. I did notice it, but I never realized until you pointed it out. I think it, it's um, it's the journalists who want to be taken very seriously to get your attention, and then they just drop off to let's. It's, yeah, it's bomb, almost like you know, it's boom. like they they start off very very concerned and then they couldn't really care less. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. How are things going at the talk? You girls getting along? Yes, we're getting along. Oh, it's we're having you know every day, we all have at least one belly laugh. Well, I thought you were going to say something else there for a minute. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just that's just it's not. It's belly laugh season three. <laughs> no, um, no. So we're belly laugh's second... not not code for anything. No, 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 right. no. You know, I. It's our second season, and the women are all so funny. We play off of each other, and every day someone manages to like surprise the rest of the ladies. You know, we we know the topics that we're going to go on the show and do because it's like do. me and Jeff, really. Is this what we do, really? Is that right? You guys? kind of, yeah. We kind of know where it's going to be, but uh, but well, then you never know because well, Jeff I know he's going to be over there by the podium, and that's about it. <laughs> Je Jeff is not agreeing with you. He's he's. Yeah, I kind of know that's going to happen too. <laughs> But it's it's nice because you know we are, we have our morning meeting and we our executive producer throws out the topics and we see what works in the room so it's kind of a dress rehearsal you know like okay we got enough good stuff here save it to, for the show and so I have a good idea of what everyone is going to say on a given topic but then something happens when you're on live television and everyone's together and in the moment you just start feeding off the energy and and off the cuff comment and it did gets you ever, crazy. Did you ever think sometimes, because it's very live your show, I've been on it, I mean it's not, we're live, but it's not as live as your show, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Like no, live. Live, live, there's no duo. Do you ever see something and go, oh man, no. Well, Sharon Osbourne said something today that I thought, are we allowed to say that she was saying that she loves Ozzy, uh -huh. she says she loves his Willie. <laughs> and I didn't know if we could say that during the day. Now I know on this show. I don't know, I'm taking, can, can we say it? So if I walk out here every night and go, it's a great day for America, I love Ozzy's Willie, everybody will be cool? <laughs> Everyone I mean, I'm Sharon. going with it, if you're going with it, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Your, your EP saying yeah. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's saying yeah. You know, and then we were laughing about it, and then something caused me to repeat what she said. But I was, I was hesitating, waiting for, waiting for, you know, I wear the little earpiece for my producer to know where I was going to go and for her to say, don't go there, don't say it, you know, and, and I said it. But I realized we're on a seven second delay. If I say it, they just have the little button. Right. And then we don't beep out. The problem is we don't beep people out, we drop the audio for 30 seconds. Ah. So people at home are like, well, I, you know, I, I missed what you guys were saying. I, I, didn't, I didn't understand the joke because they, they lose a whole 30 seconds. So you, did you lose the drop? No, really? I didn't. We didn't. But, we, but standards and practices, they're going to look into if we can, we definitely can say that word. Willie. But I'm like, can you say it in that context that she used it in? Why don't you in just say sentence? penis and then everybody's good? Well, that's not very British. Now is it? <laughs> I, mean, I didn't start hiding up. <laughs> no, you guys start. Okay. <laughs> so. I, I, yeah. Why don't you start with penis and then forget all about it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I will suggest that. Well, you could try it. To, no, uh, no. I uh, have things. Uh, Big Brother again this year. Big Brother. Happen? Anybody who wants to be on the show. I'll do it as a contestant. I'll do it. You work for CBS. I'm ready. Yes, I, you cannot do it. You work for CBS. I'll quit. All right, then you're on. You're on. So I can be on. I can be on Big Brother. Oh, we, you, can I show my Willie on Big Brother? <laughs> <laughs> it's mandatory to show your Willie. Your Big Brother. Big brother yeah. Most of the time when I've seen Big Brother, somebody gets the willy out. <laughs> <laughs> we should be so lucky. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, so right now, if you go to our website, you could find out if we're having an open casting call in your city. Are you really? Or how to apply. Yeah, because, you know, we have to get the, the group of 12 or so people ready to throw them into the house. Now, now all I can hear in my head is the na-na-na-na-na. To go in the house. Yeah, we're getting the, we're getting the group ready to go into the house um, come early July. So people, you know, 
I'm fascinated by that show. How long has it been on now? Then? This will be our 14th season. Good grief. It's crazy. Last yeah. summer when I was on here talking about season number 13, yeah. I'm a very superstitious person. Yeah. My culture is very superstitious. So I kept calling it Lucky 13, Lucky 13, Lucky 13, hoping it would... 13 is a lucky number. Uh, in certain cultures and other cultures. Not. In my cultures. Is I have it? 13 letters in my name. Well, then, and look how, and look, and look at you. <laughs> it's good. You know, I thought we were friends. But, no, but then, I'm serious. Then, then, oh, I you, thought we were friends, but it turns out we're not. not. <laughs> we are. You go back to your school. You're a perfect example. They ask you to speak to the students. And by the way, that's a good-looking time. It's not bad, is it? I, yeah. I'm rather surprised. But I hated it's, it when I was a kid, but I rather sharp. love it now. Yeah. You can't tell that there's yellow on television. At least not the TV that I was watching. <laughs> With the VCR. That's more to do with the studio. <laughs> um, we, we have to take a break, uh, Jill. Oh, okay. Well, you do this all the time. You can. Yes. Cool. I think maybe that's what it is. Oh, hi. <laughs> Are we back already? Yeah, yeah. We're wow, back. that was short. Okay. It was, yeah. We, we showed a very short commercial. They seem longer when the show's uh, it beamed to your house. <laughs> I'm not... Even well, you were expecting so. live commercials, like the whole, you know... No, it was just, well, that felt like, I don't know, what, it was 30 seconds? Yeah, it feels faster because we were having scintillating conversation. <laughs> You're very naughty tonight. Yes, I am. Naughty. Yes, I am. Especially naughty. Especially naughty, given the fact you're my boss's wife. That's very, <laughs> very naughty. See, because you've been out of the studio for a number of weeks now. That's right. I've, I've got a sense of freedom that may drive me a little crazy to do insane things. You're, you're on fire. You're on fire tonight. You're always funny, but stop. <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. So, um... Yes. Uh, what do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, or big cash prize? Big cash prize. Oh, all right. What time is it, Jonathan? It's time for the big cash prize. Here's how we do this, Julie. It's a big cash prize. It's uh, $50 of American currency in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Just like the burglars actually use. I'll give you... <laughs> All you have to do to win it, you can win it one of two ways. You can either answer a question, or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I have, I imagine a... I didn't know you had one. No, I don't have one. I imagine one oh, in my okay, head. Okay, okay. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You try and guess what's in it. If you're correct, Jeff will tell you. If you're incorrect, something awful will happen. <laughs> Uh, then I think I'll go with the question. Okay, question it is. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> All right. Here we are. You ready? Make it easy, please. Please don't embarrass me. I won't embarrass you. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to, but... <laughs> Should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is... Either you'll get this. Um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's a pretty tough question, huh? Okay. You don't want to guess... Okay. Mm. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. What is the average wage of the Icelandic rural community? <laughs> that's not... I, I made that up. That's not the question. <laughs> I was going to say, no, that's there's not. vital information no, missing. No, no. Hourly? Okay, go no, ahead. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the question is, uh, President Bill Clinton's father was A, a lawyer, B, a grocery store manager, or C, a traveling salesman? Mm. Was he A, a lawyer? <laughs> no, he wasn't. Was he I, B, a grocery store manager? Maybe. Or was he C, uh, <laughs> a traveling salesman? Yes, yeah. the correct answer! To the Julie Chan, everybody. Julie Chan. Oh, Julie. Julie. Hello, hello. You look sensational.
sensational. Look at you. you. You got it all going on. Thank I you. like it. There's a, a bit of a boom going on tonight. If you don't I'm mind like, uh, this is the first time I'm uh, wearing this dress, and I'm realizing sitting in it is a little bit. Do you a, do that when you're trying them on? You think, no, oh, oh. You, but now I will. Yeah, you got it. You just look in the mirror and go, good, you know? But now I'm going to try and sit down. That's what I do whenever I buy pants. <laughs> I say to them, can I run around them in, in a week? And if, I, if they work for about a week's worth of me, I'll bring them back. And then I take them back, soiled. And they let you because you're Craig Ferguson. No, they're like, who are you, man? <laughs> How are you? The Big Brother show looks particularly bonkers this year. It's, it's crazy. You know, we're in our 13th season. That's, no, that's a long time it on television. It really is. What was that, 13 years then? Uh... 12. We had two in one year because of the writer's strike a few years ago. I don't recall it. We suddenly had to put on a winter edition. So, because we're on three nights a week, so right. it really helped out, you know, CBS is, okay, we're good. I, have no, three nights. I have no opinion on this. So, the, uh, <laughs> on Labor Day yet. That, that, you are smart. Yeah. So, um, 13, 12 years of the same show, but 13 seasons, that's unlucky. Then you'll have to, were well, you going to stop? Um, well, Judging by the ratings this summer, yeah. I think we'll be back next summer. Oh, with the big ratings. And then that's how we determine. Is that important? Because I, I look at the ratings for this show and I'm like, eh. <laughs> Is it important that people watch? Because I, I figured it wasn't really that important. <laughs> You know you're on for a reason. Uh, I, uh, you know. Yeah, it's because, you know, it's me or cartoons. <laughs> and cartoons cost money. You are very cheeky this evening. Am I? Yeah, I think maybe you and Jeff were at the barbecue together. No, 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 no. I, you let know. Me, let me, you know, let me. No, 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 listen. No, I, no, that's true. You that's true. Not. If I was drinking, you'd that's know. True. It yeah. wouldn't be just, it wouldn't be just, ah, uh, 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 no, I'd be like, ah! No, 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 no. That's right. I forgot. Right. You have. Do you like to get it. liquored up uh, on, uh, <laughs> on uh, Labor Day? Are you, are you kind of buzzed right now? As no, as no. I, you know, like you, I had to work today. I had to be at Big Brother earlier. And so I missed going to a barbecue, which, you know, I would have liked to have a glass of wine or two. Is that, is that what but, you drink, wine? Uh, yeah. Uh, drugs? Any drugs? Uh, <laughs> no, definitely not. No, actually, better than wine lately, because I've been trying to watch the caloric intake. Mm -hmm. If I am going to drink, I'll just have a vodka, because they say that is the way to go. Oh, that's the way to go, all right. <laughs> that's the way to go to rehab, right there. <laughs> No, do, you ever, do you watch Russian Dolls? You ever seen Russian Dolls? That's a reality show on another network. I yeah, I never saw the show. They drink vodka. But I I think I saw I saw something on another network on Nightline might maybe do a right. profile of it, and it was it was eye opening. Well, you know what the weird thing is when I was watching it, it just at the start of it, and then we'll talk about CBS shows. But at the start of it, they, uh, <laughs> they say, they've got this like teaser reel, and one of the Russian women says, "Russian people are known for having good time," and I'm like. No, they're not. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are we talking about? Ivan the Terrible, the Gulag <laughs> System, Stalin? When was the good time? Maybe she's talking about just the women. Oh, okay, that's maybe, possible. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. right? Yeah, no, that's... Have you ever been to Russia? No, not yet. It's have awesome. you been? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, was when I was a spy. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I've been... Was it fun? It's an amazing place. So you had a good time? I... I you know I did. See? I feel like such a fool. There you go. See, that's what makes you the interviewer. I'm just <laughs> I'm just the, the pedestrian. You can do this. You pull the information out of people that they don't know they have. Well, you've been on the show. A I've, been on, of I've times. been on the talk, yeah. Yeah, you've been on the talk twice. And isn't it funny, like when you come on the talk show and suddenly our our roles are switched. I it's know. odd. It's a Because you're used weird. to being, you know, in the driver's seat. It's kinda like we you know, like you dress up as a man and I dress up as a lady. <laughs> No, but oh, come on, that would be good too. Speaking of dressing, yes, I, in honor of Labor Day, I yeah. had to squeeze in one last wear of of my white watch. Oh, you have a white watch? I, well, actually, it's the same black watch the rest of the year, but I got a second band to put on it. I don't For think you're going to win any friends by seeing how rich you are. <laughs> my two watch bands? <laughs> yeah, two watch bands. Oh, oh but, well, nice to meet you, Hollywood. <laughs> But now, after two, yeah, no, have I have to, to go back. Even right. though it doesn't go with this outfit. No, black would go with that. You get a black dress and the... And the, and the no, I know. The, the, the black, black would go, but even though the white wash doesn't go with the outfit, I didn't care. I thought, you know what? Oh. It's my last... Because I, I kind of go by that. Those Do you rules. really follow that rule? Well, like growing up in the East Coast, you had to. But, yeah. you know, I find in Southern California, 
after today, you're going to see people in white jeans, and I might be one of them. Yeah. And you know? And I, I possibly <laughs> won't be, though. You won't be. In well, white jeans? Men, Does anybody want to see that? Nothing against you. Men in white jeans is a little bit of a problem. That's a little... Well, no. It's not a problem. It's a piece of information. <laughs> That's all it is. There's no judgment attached to it. It's not... I'm not, I'm not saying anything <laughs> okay. about it. It's just, hey, this is who I am. That's all, That's all it is. You, I don't know what, what is in your mug? What is in your mug tonight? Just sparkling water, a bit of zhuzh. I know what it is. It's the fact that it's a holiday. You kind of feel like, all right, everyone else is at home. They're on vacation. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not working today. The fact that you have to be in today, you feel like the bosses are not watching. And you no, feel no, like come you on, baby. You know the boss is not watching me. You know. No, that. I know differently. No, you know better than I... anybody the boss is not watching me. You guys are like... No, 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 no. Yeah, no. you got a Me little baby. Watching. You're like, baby's asleep. Let's go. No, and I'll, I'll tell you why it's so easy for us to watch you. Why? Because we have Direct TV, we can watch you three hours earlier. So we will ask. Is, is this dinner. legal for you to say that? I think so. Oh, okay. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. And if, it's not, if it's not, honey, if not, I'm sorry. If, I'm getting that pulled. No, if, no. if it's not legal, no, then it never he, happened. No, because he runs a network. Because he runs a network, he has to. Right. Okay. So we get to watch you at 9:30. Oh, you, you wouldn't want that. That late night at prime time. That doesn't have a good history, as far as I can see. <laughs> Didn't they try that somewhere else? Went a little crazy for a while. I don't no, know. So we watch you all the time. That's what well, you're gone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, Jeff. The, uh, <laughs> tell me about the uh, the new season of the talk. What's going on? What are you going to do? Any outdoor activities? Uh, not outdoor yet, but you know we're open to. You ideas. should go on the road. Take a show on the road. Actually, we might. You know, for maybe like uh, sweeps, maybe November. Paris. Or go to like Paris. That. We went to Paris. It was great. I know, but that cost so much money. Oh, not for us. It didn't. <laughs> well, then. Then I'll have to talk about how you guys did it, because no, I would love well, to Well, yeah, it's that. very simple. What you do is you get a coach flight, you go to Paris, you meet a guy with a camera, and you say, I'll give you 50 bucks if I can take this, you know, the videotape once we're done. That's it. Then we bring it back and show it to everyone in America. I will pitch it and see how, how it goes. It works out all right. I would, nice I would love that me. idea. Yeah, no, it's good. But we're very excited. Tomorrow is day one of season two. Mm -hmm. You know, we were on hiatus for a month, and I feel like it's the first day of school. You know, I have, like, my new outfit, minus the white watch all like yeah, pressed yeah, and ready. Yeah. I have like butterflies in my stomach. And we just announced that um, joining us at the desk will be Molly Shannon from I love Molly Saturday. Shannon. I know. I, I know Night Molly Live. Shannon personally. I, I like her very. I didn't know she was doing this. Yeah, it, well, we just announced it on Friday. Well, congratulations! What a, a an excellent choice. She's a star. I love she her. She is. She. I mean, who knows live television better than her, right? Me. Uh, <laughs> no, we got that that buzzer from when you oh, say Oh yeah that's right yeah that's the true right? the tootsie fruitsies and the <laughs> fa fa yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah no you're right so yeah, yeah, yeah so, so you Molly got, is, yeah. is joining us and also Cheryl Underwood who I don't know if you've ever had her on her on your show but she's a very funny comedian and um, has a really interesting story which I'll let her tell on tomorrow's show, okay. when you tune in, you get to know her. But um, this week, being that we're only on three days this week, Friday we're preempted because of um, tennis, U.S. Open. Mm. So Thursday's show, I think, is going to be a really powerful hour of live TV where we dedicate the whole program to the 10-year anniversary of 9-11. That's going to be tough. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's very tough. Um, a bunch of us were in New York when it happened. I, yeah. I was working in news then. I was on the air when it happened, and it was, you know, it's a life-changing event. I know. I've been York. thinking about it. It's been on my mind a bit as well because it's coming up in 10 years, and we always try and mark it some one way or another on the show. But it's very difficult. It, it really Especially is. when you get the dancing horse and the robot and stuff, and you think, oh, man, how am I going to make this, you know? So but you're probably not working. Uh, but it's on a Sunday. 9-11 is on a Sunday. It's on a Sunday, Sunday. It's on a Sunday this so, year, you know, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. You may not have to, you know, worry about yeah, it, well, addressing it, but probably, you know. I'll probably Some do something, but not, you know, I'm not on on Sunday, so there you are. I'll watch it along with everyone else. It's good to see you again, Julie. It's always, I'm, and good luck with the 13th season of Big Brother. That's, uh, well, must be worrying to, to go into the 13th. That's the one that, you know, separates them. Well, you know what? I've been calling it Lucky 13. I've been yeah. calling it Lucky 13, and so far it's been, it's been great. We're down to five people in the house, and on September 14th. Tori Spelling turned up. She was I turning. know, yeah. I know. Yeah. She looks great, so. Yeah. 
<laughs> awkward pause, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball. Um, awkward pause. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, wait, I, I must tell you, before we go into the awkward pause, <laughs> okay. I have been adding a subtext to it that I try to sneak a look at a uh, body part. Now... Oh, uh, now no, you wait, tell me. No, 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 wait. Uh, given the fact that you're married to my boss, I, I'll probably leave that out. So it's just... <laughs> All right, give me the choices again. Uh, no, you don't have any choices. It's just a straight awkward pause. Okay. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it by accident! You, oh, oh, no! I was... Don't be tired, everybody! She wasn't in that clip. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Julie Chen, everybody. Julie Chen. <laughs> oh, and Julie, you look great. Thank you. I love, I love the fact that you sent us a clip that you're not in. Well, I have to clarify something. Even though Big Brother is on, as you say, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, I only am on the Thursday night episode, which is the live eviction. Well, you, so I'm not on those other nights. Well, you don't, don't tell people that, or else they won't watch the other night. No, it's <laughs> No, come Thank on. You, it's but... like, no, it's true. It's like, if you're on it, they're going to watch. And if it's just, you know, oh, great, there's the people that dress up as horses, they can get that here. Well, I think we should have had Secretariat in that race. Well, I don't know. Secretariat's pretty fast. These people wouldn't have stood a chance. Plus, <laughs> those were people were wearing horse costumes. Secretariat real horse. That's true, that's true. I was thinking Secretariat probably would not have been eligible because Secretariat only has four limbs and those people had six. Six limbs? A little bit, yeah, you know, you had the, the two real limbs uh -huh. and then you had, well, the two legs. I should say legs, not limbs, because this is a limb. They had eight. No, they have the, it was very disturbing with like the front legs. The hell, the Julie, horse. have you been drinking or something? I, I actually have in your green room. Yeah. I had a little glass. Really? You had a little uh, yeah. yeah. Well, no, I started with the potato chips. He has a great, he has a great green room. And I had the potato chips and then it's salty. I'm like, oh, I need something to wash it down. I was like, oh, okay, I'll have a glass of wine. And we have yeah. soda. We have soda. Yeah, I know. I, I know, I know. But it's all right. It's fine. It's great. You look you great it? anyway. Yeah. No, no. Okay. <laughs> no I was, was going to say, no. you smell lovely. <laughs> Chanel number five. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna, I've actually, I've painted myself into a corner because if you say to a woman now she smells lovely, they'll say, mm, yeah. Why? Because of what Is I was talking oh. about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You gotta watch yourself these days, you know? Why? About offending women or saying the wrong thing or oh, the right thing. Uh, listen, I've been offending women for years. <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing is that, do you worry about that? Because you do a live show, you know? Yes. Uh, oh, this is live too, of but, course, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> very late, right, very yeah. late. Uh, yes and no, I did in the beginning, but then I realized if you do everything with humor and you, you can tell, the viewers can tell at home if the intention is to be. Yeah, people aren't stupid. Yeah, right, yeah, right, you know, so, yeah. And They're not. <laughs> Especially not your audience. No, no. Well, well, actually, no. They're they're a little <laughs> stupid because. They, <laughs> but most of the time, no. My audience, no. I think people when they watch TV, people kind of get who you are if they see you over a period. If you say something dumb and you should apologize for it, that's one thing. But you right, know, we all make mis we all make mistakes, and I some feel of us in the green room before the show. <laughs> <laughs> it was those darn potato chips. <laughs> but I feel like the camera doesn't lie. No, it doesn't. Which is what. Which is why Big Brother is so fascinating. Yeah, you know people go nice to the house. Me. Very yeah, good. Yeah, little plug. <laughs> My God, you are so good at this. I no, love you're on the show though because you come on and you're like professional and on time. It's like, <laughs> oh, I'm very on time. Really, you got be to think with because, that? Because yes having a news background, oh, you know, yeah, it was guess, always a yeah. live broadcast. They hate it when you're late for the news. Well, it would be <laughs> terrible. Yeah. I'll never forget, in, in college, <laughs> I had this journalism professor who said, you cannot be late for class because you cannot be late for your broadcast. Nope. When you, you know, graduate and you get jobs, if you're on the six o'clock news, you can't show up to the set at 6.05. Nope. Because no, they're not going to say, uh, here's, uh, here's some, the, the horse dancing up and down until we get the news ready. As people well, aren't in mood for it then. They want their news. They've turned on for the news. They don't want to see a dancing horse or some well, creepy foreigner. if it was Secretariat, 
They might. They might. Well, make I don't know. I, see, I like that. Do you miss doing the hard news? Well, you guys do Sometimes. hard news a little bit, don't you? Yeah, you know, we do it. It's funny. Um, we do it with a different kind of a, an angle. It's not so much reporting it. Uh, we just give the main headline, and then we discuss how we feel about it. And my whole, and it was odd when I started doing the talk because. For my whole career up until that point, I used to get paid for a living to not... To not talk about your feelings. Yeah, right, right, not right, express right. my opinion. You know, right. it wouldn't be appropriate. And then when I got this job, I'm like, now I'm getting paid to actually say what I think? This is a little bit odd. But that, see, I, that's why I'd be terrible at news. I'd be like, today in Congress, this guy said that. What a jerk. Could you believe he said that? <laughs> and then that, that's the people are like, no! And they get, also, the, being in the hard news game, people are so aggressive all the time. You it's, express the tiniest opinion. It's very aggressive now. It's very competitive now. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's just exploded just with cable and, you know, now social media. Cable, every you say? I don't know. <laughs> Not something we have in my house, Julie, I tell you that. Social We're Americans, media. We're <laughs> it is, it, it is, it is tough today. Yeah, it is. In, in yeah, the the, 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 I think the idea as well of I would I don't know if I could do it. Like if really hard news stories, and then on the talk, what you guys do is you do a hard news story, and then you've like you know a kitten that farts or something, and you have to <laughs> you have to make the 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 right. Well, that was the situation in the Middle East. No, look at this kitten. <laughs> no, yeah. no, we never go. We never go to like really, really, really hard news. We'll discuss things that, um, for example, today on the show we talked about can a politician make stage a comeback if they have been in the middle of a sex scandal. Well, you mean tweeting pictures of their wiener on the... Yes. That's, that's more than a sex scandal. That's more like, oh, I've been meeting my secretary late at night. That's like, yeah! Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit foolish. It's very difficult to walk into the UN and go, hello, everybody, and have them go, I've seen your penis. It's not that hard. <laughs> I represent America. You've got a tiny little penis, though. <laughs> You do that accent very well. Thank you very much indeed. Or, or someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, well, yeah. Not that he's running for, you know, office again, but he's going to be on the, you know, big screen. Yeah. So it's like, do people really want to pay money? Will they pay money to see him at the theater I don't, think, I don't think people mind actors being, you know, dogs. Right. But I think that, uh, you know, but what, you know, it just seems that he was doing to the maid what he was doing to the state of California simultaneously. <laughs> and I think... I think, I think, I think people don't like the duplicity of that. That's that's my guess. Yes, that's true. So you're saying he can stage a comeback in entertainment, right. but not in politics, not no. in public office. No, I don't. Yeah, think. that's probably accurate. And well it, it depends on the scandal, depends on the offense, right? We that was a pretty bad one. Yeah, that was a pretty. Yeah, yeah that's that's. Sorry, honey, I had a, I've got a kid who's 14. <laughs> oh my God, and it's the maid. You know the maid. Who's been here the whole time? It's terrible. Yeah, that's very bad. The betrayal is yeah. a horrible thing. It is a bad thing. Still, commercials. We'll be right back. <laughs> the hell? What is that? Welcome back, everybody. Jimmy Chen. Chen is here, everybody. And wh why do you dress up as a dog? Is it kind of a Fifty Shades sex thing? With the... <laughs> no. What Which, is the safety word? We do. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I tried to read Fifty Shades of Grey. Garbage. And it's you know, garbage. Everyone, you read it? I read it, but I couldn't get it. But I was like, where are the dirty parts? Where are the dirty parts? And uh, I never got it. And I was like, ah, I didn't see any dirty no. parts. And I, I lost interest. But the reason you saw <laughs> I never said a thing, man. I never said a thing. Look, all I'm... I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> Picture says a thousand words. Yeah, it does. Well, look, I like the dirty bits, too, but I... I like them to be joined together by clever writing. That's all I'm saying. I... I, and, uh, I oh, that's harsh. Well, I... I okay, I'll read and then we'll talk. Right. I, you know, I mean, the dirty bits are... Yeah, they're all right, you know? What I just she... like to see a picture of it, and then I'm done. <laughs> What does she care? She's making so she much money. Care. Well, you, oh, the guy on in the middle of the night thought my book wasn't that good. Boo-hoo. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, what you saw was the ladies of the talk uh -huh. dressed in dog costumes competing in the Big Brother house. It's weird. I had a dream about that. <laughs> <laughs> and the title of that was yeah, no, Fifty, no, Shades, 50 of Shades of Dog. Fifty Shades of... No, no. So why, why did you do that? 
That's cross promotion. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah. There you go. We thought it would be fun. You know, before we threw the real house guests in, the ladies of the talk decided to have our own challenge. And we're all very competitive people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but it's funny because, you know, you work with people day in and day out. And then you go in the Big Brother house and then you see a whole other side to people. Yeah, I never socialize with people I work with. Because, so you don't go drinking with Secretariat or yeah. Jeff? I got, yeah. I got the, the skeleton and then judgmental. <laughs> The man in the dark who knows all things. I, I can't do that. No, I, I go home. And yeah, I get judged was... by my children. <laughs> as, as we all should be. Oh, the real judges. But yeah. it was, um, but you also see a different side to yourself. Ah. Because I went into this, you know, Big Brother house thinking I was going to be great at it because I've worked on it for 14 seasons. Yeah. And I was the worst. It was pretty humiliating. <laughs> I, I was terrible. So what, what, what does it matter? So you're good at Big Brother. Great. That's going to help you get a job. Come on. <laughs> good point. Uh, Thank you. Fine. You're doing Thank great. You. Look at you. You look great. You're on the network more times than the commercials. You're great. <laughs> We gotta go. Uh, anything you wanna uh, do? Well, do I get to play for the big? Cash oh, you wanna prize? do that? Happy kind of face now, but I'll, Are you? No, no, no. Okay, no, no. Don't, don't, don't. No, I've still got the money. I can just give it to you. <laughs> really? No, I need. No, to no, no. Oh man, what time is it, Shadow Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. Cash prize. All right. All right. All right. Very quickly, because we don't have much time, I'm just going to ask you a question, right? Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic, its capital city is Reykjavik. Which European capital city is built on top of an extinct volcano? Is it B, Edinburgh? I'm gonna go with B. It's B, Edinburgh! Oh, Julie Chen, everybody. What a lovely thing. Because you uh, may a... I just say you look great all grown up with your makeup on and oh, everything? You're thank lovely. You. you know, well, because you have a new studio, we yeah. have to christen it. So... so you brought asparagus? Asparagus, <laughs> in case we get hungry. Yeah. So bamboo in the Chinese culture, we love it because it is strong, yet it's flexible, so you can go with the flow. So it brings good luck. And being that this was. What is that? That well, looks. This... Is, that, is that for wheeling? This is white sage. Oh, white sage. Oh. And we should burn it. You want to hold it while I light it? Sure, if I had a nickel for every night. <laughs> Ooh, that smells lovely, though. And we have Do, to... Will I take off the paper? No, no, no. You oh. leave it there, because otherwise it'll fall apart. Oh, okay. And we just burn it so that... Is this how you hold it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because we have to burn off all the energy from previous shows in this studio because... What, you mean like Tyra? <laughs> hey, I like Tyra. I like Tyra, too. I don't want to burn the Tyra energy out. I like Tyra energy. It's fierce energy. I need that energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's good. Oh, no, it's... Now, you know, because you're going to be here for 30, 50, 100 years. Really? This, this the you, studio. You know this something show. I don't, perhaps? <laughs> so we just smudge. Uh, all right. <laughs> Very good. You didn't think it's through, Julie. Now I got to step with this the I know. whole time. No, you just put it out in your snake cup. Just no, I can't. Out. I can't. I drink out of there. I'll just oh. put it. I'll put it over here. No, I won't. Uh, I'll hold it. No, uh, no, no. Uh, Mikey, come, come and get the uh, thing, will you? Thanks, Mike. There you go. Thank you. Hey, there you go, buddy. Thanks, Michael. Thanks. It smells good, right? Yeah. yeah. You know. It smells great. And actually, I have to tell you, there's a reason why I asked Michael to come over. Yes. The smell. <laughs> he likes that smell? Sure, let's go with that. No. <laughs> uh, you look great. Purple shoes. That's Purple fantastic. Shoes. Well, you know. It's, it's daring. It's special coming on the show. I, oh. I pick out every piece very carefully. Well, I think you look great. I also thought you looked great without your makeup on. You're kind. No, I'm serious. <laughs> you know, it's, it's an issue. When we decided to do the talk premiere, um, of season three with no hair and makeup, it was 
we weren't sure we would all be comfortable or agree to do it right. because the relationship between women and makeup is a very delicate relationship. It's not like just, a not just women. <laughs> well, would you ever do your show without makeup on? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> See? No, you I would. I would. No, I would. I would. I, I, I actually, there's a lot of things that are wrong with me, but I'm not vain in that direction. I don't care. You but know. you probably understand this issue a little bit more than the average guy because you work in television where you, you do need... The camera has a different eye. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Because it's a, <laughs> and because it's a visual medium, you know, it's, this is a lot of people, they're bread and butter. Right. So that's why you get professional artists who know how to... I mean, it's almost like with me, I feel like it's special effects makeup. <laughs> it's definitely that way with me. I mean, me, with, me without... Do we have a picture of me without makeup? I look a, little, a bit like Paul McCartney. <laughs> or Angela Lansbury. Or maybe, I don't know. No. Do you have you no. got a picture of me without makeup? No, you don't have it, do you? There you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> so listen, the big brother, who, who's left? It's uh, Corky, Jimbo, and Ted, right? That's it. And it is Dan, Danielle, and Ian. That's what I meant, and, yeah. Yeah, same difference. And it's... It's really contentious this year. Right. It, you know, a lot of people think that if you've been following, Dan has won this game before, and he originally came into the house as a coach right. and then became a player, and he's playing a well, Jeff and I are players. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, no, we, we've, got, we've got our song and everything. Quickly, will, you ready? I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here come Here come the players. <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> yeah. That when you were in Vegas this weekend, oh, that was yeah. being sung. That's what the ladies were singing. That's <laughs> right. When we walk into town, what do they shout, Jeff? Here come the players. <laughs> that explains why Jeff looks like that. Yeah, I love that. That's what I look like without makeup, actually. <laughs> so listen, and the. Uh, um, so the the uh, Jimbo's going nuts and he's going to win and Dan's going crazy. No, what do they win know. again? We don't know. They win um, a half million dollars. What the hell? And then <laughs> I'm in. The, I, let's go. I'm in. The runner-up gets fifty grand. And here's the sad part: the third person who had to survive like seventy-five days through a lot goes home with nothing. No, not not so. They get room and board for seventy-five days. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and then um, national exposure. National exposure on the Great Tiffany Network. Come on. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's... People have quit their jobs to come on this show. I quit mine to come on this show. <laughs> You're doing okay. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. It's fine now. I'm I'm kind of all right. So that's good. <laughs> I always feel I should behave a bit because I always think there's a possibility Les might watch while you're on and it concerns me. My husband loves you and always watches I, I love your do. husband too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what though? Because you, know you know your husband plays golf. I don't know if you're aware of this. Really? Yeah, yeah, he plays yeah, golf. Is and he appar any good? Apparently he's very good. I've never it's played. Not an answer. No, well, I, I don't know. I've never played. And, and like two months ago, I started playing golf. Wait a minute. You're Scottish and you've never played? I, I, <laughs> zig, I zig when the other bitches zag, Julie. That's the way it is. <laughs> but. How did you do? You know, I started, I went to Scotland and they were saying, you know, maybe it's time you took up golf. And I was like, okay. So I tried a little bit and apparently I suck about as much as everybody else. So. Uh, <laughs> but did you enjoy it? I actually do. I'm, I'm a little concerned about how much I like it. It's kind of a, a it's, it's like got a lot of bad clothing and it's addictive. It's like being in the 80s again. <laughs> Don't knock the 80s. That was, that was my era. Yeah, it was my era too. Apparently, I have very... <laughs> Where you know, were you in the 80s? No, that I was in high school. I was in Queens. I had hair bigger than this, believe it or not, and probably twice as much makeup. Wow. Um, but no, I, you know, I love the big shoulder. I love the outrageousness of the 80s, the shoulder pads, you know, the whole Dynasty, yeah. Dallas era. I loved that. Did you watch that new Dynasty, uh, the new Dallas, the, uh, the one with the... I have. I've watched yeah. bits and pieces. Yeah. They've come on the talk to promote the show, and it's still good. It is still, it's all right. It's, it's all right. It's yeah, yeah. Well. They've still got JR on it. I'm like, I know. I'm like, what? Because I was at first like, is that Jeff? And then it was like, no, it was... Uh... <laughs> I just honest. said it a little bit. I just no. said it a little bit. It's only a joke. Larry it's only a, it's a joke. Good. He, he does. He does. He looks great because he has special effects, Arthur. <laughs> Let me tell you, after we did our 
show with no hair and makeup. Yeah. See, this past season, we got three Emmy nominations, one for Outstanding Talk Show and one for hair and one for makeup. And now that we did the show with no hair and makeup, we're like, if you guys don't clean up at the Emmys next year, we don't know who should win. I yeah. mean, we really showed how much work goes they into They never all. include me in this Emmy thing. <laughs> No, I'm not Get out of here. Yeah, you know why? Why? Because I don't play golf. Well, that's about to change. That's about to change. You know what they say about the game of golf? What? It is a beautiful walk on a beautiful day ruined by one little white ball. <laughs> you know it's me we're talking to here, haven't you? <laughs> I probably shouldn't just. No, I you're told not. The wrong person. Late. Listen, we're out of time. Um, so, uh, <laughs> do you want? Uh, I've got some snacks. Do don't, you want some don't, asparagus? No, don't. Don't give away. Don't re No, no, no. Me. I won't. I won't re -give. Actually, I'll put it up in the mantelpiece. Hold on. I'll, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll put it up here. Oh yeah. Now, uh, bamboo grows very quickly, though. Hey. Uh, well, I, it might. Size the limit. All right. Oh, watch. I don't want the rhinoceros <laughs> eating it though. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> rhinoceros is eating my bamboo. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, that'll be fine there. We'll leave it there. I like it. It gives All right. some life. Uh, do you want, uh, you want an apple? Yes, you know why? Why? Because it's Rosh Hashanah. Oh, uh, uh, same to you. And, yeah, Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> do you have some honey? Uh, I don't know if I have any honey. Um, oh, I do. Look, a honey. Right there. <laughs> It's See? even marked, because there's so many jars like this out here, I have to mark what's in all the different <laughs> ones. You never know. I will take it. Thank uh, you. Apple and honey, is, this is for uh, Rosh Hashanah, This is right? for the new year. I didn't know you were Jewish. Well, my husband is, so I, I am. There you go. And you know why we do this? Because a little bit of sweetness brings in sweet things for the new year. I think that's, that's a lot of sweetness. <laughs> I don't know what you're using that for. Well, I, I figured if, if there's some left over, we can go wheeling later on. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable Julie Chen, everybody. Julie Chen. You know, looking at that old photo of myself, um, I realized I look like one of the Bay City Rollers. No! From Scotland. No, yes. no, 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 you don't. The Bay City Rollers were adolescent boys with acne. That photograph of you, you look fantastic. You're like a kind of sexed up Pat Benatar is what you look like in that. <laughs> Except it was 20 years after that look was in. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter as long as you got to it in the end. That's what counts. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank you, you look great now. I mean, that's the main thing. I mean, really, actually, whoa. Thank you. No, well, you know, I mean... Guys have it much easier because you can look at old photos and your hairstyles can't really get that crazy. Am I right? Well, I don't Unless know. Unless the 70s, you know. Well, it's not really like, about the hairstyle for me. Like, if I look at old photographs of me, there's either, like, there's one there and then one on the side or, there, you know, like, two photographs with my height in them. Oh, 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 oh. one looking... Oh, never mind. Yeah, monk shots. Like, uh, okay, yeah, one looking this way, one looking that way. You're right. Only. And also... That I, is a problem. And also, I was really fat when I was younger. No, you weren't, were you? Yeah, 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 really super fat. How did you lose the weight? Uh, stopped drinking beer all day, every day. Well, there you go. <laughs> always, always a good thing were you to ever, stop. Were you ever tubby? Were you ever fat? Um, no, luckily, I've always been pretty, pretty healthy. Yeah? Pretty, yeah. It's in my genes. My parents are, like, 80, and they still look great. They look, really? like, barely 60, yeah, and they're, they're fit. Do you, do you have a very uh, kind of like strict fitness regime? Like, cause well, you know, you do that show every day. You're there, you guys are there all day, every day, right? I know, now, now I do, you know, ever, yeah, now I do because um, I like to eat. Yeah, me too. And you know, it's in my culture and, and we eat, we eat every Most day. Most cultures have things to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, Somehow well, better. in my culture, we don't eat that much really. Uh, <laughs> but we eat everything. Yeah. Being Chinese, we eat everything. Pretty much actually. I mean, like, and some of the things are kind of. Yeah, no, like bird's nests and like, you know. Hey, don't knock that soup. Well, I'm just saying it. Like who the hell had the idea? Uh, look, a bird nest. Eat it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's make we're, some soup out of that. <laughs> we're a poor country, okay? No. If it moves, we eat eat it. But we don't have haggis. Come on. Who well, that was a good idea. Well, haggis is a result of what happens after you torture a sheep for a while. There's just the, like, <laughs> haggis is what's left. That's one thing I've never tried. Haggis? It's all right, actually. No, torturing a sheep. No, don't do that. No, no, no. sheep are beautiful animals. They're our friends, CBS cares. I, uh... <laughs> 
Hey, you're going to New Orleans. We're going to New Orleans. You're going to be there. I'm going to be there. It's going to be nuts it's for the Super Bowl. It's going to be crazy. I've never been there. The talk is going there the whole week leading up to Super Bowl Sunday, doing live shows from Jackson Square. Yeah, which, no, we're going to be there, too. Yeah, I Yeah, know. but you're on during the day. Exactly. We'll be at night. You're observant like that. <laughs> Late night show. But it's going to be like a four ring circus because Jackson Square, there's going to be four stages. You're coming on the yeah, talk yeah. on Tuesday. We're yeah, yeah, I'm going to be on your show. That. That, that'll dip the ratings a bit. But other than that, you'll be fine. <laughs> now, I have you ever been there? To New Orleans? Yeah, 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 once. I've never been there. Clearly, Jeff has been there because he's always wearing the beads. Yeah, no, he's been there a lot. Yeah, he's, uh, he fl are you going to do that when you're there? Are you kidding me? Come on. If they saw me, they'd, if I had beads, they'd take them away. I mean, it's no, there's no, no, no. Um, there's a deficit there, but I, but you know. <laughs> Let's talk about your body image. What's going on with you? Well, here's the thing. You know, um, women, uh, most most women have um, issues with you know. There's something they don't like about their bodies, but we like to check each other out. But we don't like to get caught checking each other out because, you, you know. I don't like to get caught checking out women either. It gets me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, you see, unfortunately for you, I, I can check out other women without them knowing it. You're crazy. How can you do that? Oh, because, well, being that I'm Asian and my eyes are smaller. Oh, don't. don't that's yeah, rubbish. You just, you just smile. No way. And you just down. And you're like, you don't even know. I'm looking no, I don't buy that at all. <laughs> No, true. all right, I can do that. I'm not Asian. Look, I can go like this. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? I don't even need to do I go like this. <clears throat> I distract you. Oh, what's that over there? <laughs> no, that was a little obvious. Well, really? And the other one, you just looked like Stevie Wonder before. <laughs> it wasn't right. It wasn't right. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, Julie Chad. So you're got, who have you got on your show then, except for me? Well, we are so excited that our house band for the week is going to be trained. Stop it! Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. I know, I know. So you get all the great stuff. And Well, I know that you're going to have a great show, which is on Super Bowl Sunday We're on night. Super Bowl Sunday, yeah. That is so exciting. Yeah. Um, that's what America's waiting for. We're going <laughs> to No, it is. Trust me, you're going to have a lot of eyeballs, yeah, a yeah. lot of eyeballs that night. Getting through to us. And the other, um, you know, a lot of, <laughs> um, all the big CBS stars, you know, every angle of CBS is going to be down there, you know, from Showtime stars to CBS Sports, CBS News. Les going, Les has got to be going, right? Oh, yeah, my husband's going. Yeah, yeah. He goes every year, even if it's not on CBS. Well, because he likes sports. He's a sports fan. Yes. Yeah. Is he playing golf again? Yeah, I want to I wanna go and play golf. He said he hadn't Invite played. him. Yeah. Well, yeah you want to go play golf with Les? Done. <laughs> Consider it done. Yeah, yeah, no, no I quite, because he's good, right? Do you ever play golf? He's actually, he'll say he's not that good. That's what good golfers say. No, though. he's, you know, um, he's probably a little bit better than average, but he has such a competitive drive that that makes him better. He could be injured, but he'll get out there on the course and his competitiveness will make him do well. well. See, I'm the opposite of that. I'm like, I don't care if you beat me at golf. It was like, oh, you won at golf? Whoa. <laughs> well, you must be good. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. No, I'm not. I only started playing when I was 50. I was 56 months ago and I thought, I better learn to play golf. Because I'm Scottish, yeah, I don't know that's... if you noticed. And uh, <laughs> they play golf all the time there. And have you ever it, tried it? I have tried it. What do you think? I'm not very good. I'm very bad at driving the ball. But when it comes to putting, yeah. you know, that's very, you know, short distance. I can concentrate. That I'm not bad at. Well, that's what it's all about. Driving, you can learn. Putting is something you can learn too. So there you are. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't do quite with the speed and actually hitting the ball when you're coming up, you know. Well, that's going to get in your way. You have to hit the ball. Yeah. It's, uh, no. it's almost essential. So were you a natural when you started? Uh, not bad. You know, I can hit the ball. It doesn't go in the direction I want it to go, but it's early days. It never does. No, I know, but it's all right. I'm kind of into it now. I'm going to get more into it as I get older, I think. Well, that's a smart thing to do yeah, because yeah, yeah. As, as you do want you, things do you, do you play a sport? Do you have a thing? I do a lot of yoga. Mm -hmm. And that's... <laughs> hot yoga? No, I don't like Only that Only when you're yoga. doing it. <laughs> no, I do not like that hot yoga. You go into the room and it's already... It just has that smell. Yeah, the smell of people doing yoga. It's, it's really sweaty. It's a, it's a hot box and you do the same... It's a what? It's a hot box. Oh, right, okay. It's a hot box. I don't... No, that's not for me. I tried it twice. <laughs> when you're thinking of something very naughty. Get your... Hey, you're the one that said it. I never said a damn thing. I, I'm just listening to you respectfully when you're talking about your hot yoga. Excuse me. Hey, hey, what? <laughs> Forget about golf with my husband. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, I'll let him win. He'll win anyway. I'll just pretend I let him win. 
No. All right. We've got to take a break anyway. Let's do it. All right, then. We'll be right back with Julie Chen. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Julie Chen, who's going to New Orleans. Do you follow uh, the NFL? Do you know anything about football? A little bit, a little bit, you know, because my husband watches it every Sunday. And, right. like, I always, I still say this, even though we're eight years into the marriage, um, I always, on Sundays, I like to be in the same room as him. So, you know, even if I'm not watching the game, I'll bring my work into the room because, you know, you want to be together, even yeah, if we're, it's not the adorable. together activity. Yeah. Do you let the kid so. in, too? Oh yeah, we're trying. My husband's trying to get our three-year-old son into, into, into football. Uh, everything. Oh yeah. Oh well, I every know. sport. I mean, I, I wonder about uh, I wonder about my boys playing football. I mean, that's a tough. Oh, game. not playing. Right, oh right. no, 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 no. Watching it with him. Right, right. No, let's not get crazy. No, yeah, I'm yeah. Not I'm, into those injuries. I'm trying to get my boys into stuff like yeah, knitting. <laughs> well, Maybe some knitting would be good. <laughs> so you're just like my husband, very overprotective I'm father. I'm very overprotective, but the, the, the difficulty is that the kids have no regard for my feelings in that, in that area. <laughs> or in any area. Well, maybe, maybe you do the reverse psychology. And don't you feel like your kids are already, you know, what they're going to gravitate towards and like is already set Oh, they're, they're done. They're, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they come out baked and ready. I mean, they, they, it's like <laughs> my, my two-year-old, right, this the other day, Liam the other day, he was, had a blue marker pen and he was writing on the kitchen cabinets. So my, Megan goes over and starts cleaning it off. She takes her eye off him for a minute, turns back, he's painted half of his side of his face and down his bare chest blue. He looks like Braveheart and he's two. <laughs> Just like, ah, and he's standing going, ah, so he's an artist. Yeah, I, he's an artist or a or a rebel warrior. <laughs> One uh, or the other. Yeah, I'm a little worried about him. Um, but, we can, he can win an Oscar then, maybe. Oh yeah, did you watch the Oscars yesterday when the uh, thing came out? Did you? Did you? Uh, oh 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 yeah, the nominations. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was very disappointed that Ben Affleck got snubbed for not getting a Best Director nomination. Well, isn't, isn't that always the way at the Oscars, though, that they're always snubbing somebody who's good? I think it was, it's a bunch of people who get together and go, who can we really piss, who did really well this year? Let's just embarrass them. I think that's exactly what that's, they that's sit what around. That's they do, those yes. jerks. We're on to them. <laughs> no, but, it, but it's always exciting. You know, the Oscars? Yeah. It, I don't know. It's always exciting, the nominations. It's like, ooh, you know. Then you run anymore. out and you have to go see all those movies that got nominated. You don't do that. Do you? Yeah, I actually try and watch them even before the nominations. Really? Yeah. So I could be like, yeah. I, yeah, I just watch Yo Gabba Gabba over and over oh, and over. I'm there yeah. with you. I yeah. am there with you. DJ Lance and Mudo, the big monster with the one eye. What the you hell is that go about? As DJ yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Oh, you Greg. started it. You started it with the yoga thing. You should go as DJ Lance for Halloween. I did. That, that, did you? Yeah, you last did Halloween, yeah. Did you? Well, I dressed up as DJ Lance. It freaked everybody out. So I, gave, I made my nephew wear that costume and I dressed up as one of the wild things from where the wild things are. Oh. That's and Liam was Max. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that good. must have been adorable. It was very adorable. We got a lot of candy. Wow, you guys got... <laughs> You guys go all out. Oh, yeah. Now I feel terrible. I feel Wait, like you didn't do Halloween? I did, but all I did was get, like, the little ears, and I got lazy. I didn't even do, like, the, you know, thing. You gotta do I that. Mean, That's cute when girls do that. Guys like that. <laughs> I don't know why. It's too, like, girls have little ears on. It's like, uh-oh, someone's a naughty squirrel. <laughs> it's the one time... Let's go looking for nuts for winter. <laughs> what? It's, hey, that's what squirrels do, Julie! I was going to say that's the only time facial hair on a woman is probably attractive, yeah. you know, when it's super long. Um, no, and then for my husband, you know, I just got him like a cowboy hat and like a suede vest and he put it over. Oh man, you don't have a photograph of that, do you, by any chance? Oh, I do. Oh, I'll email it to you. Yeah, yeah. Now I can show it on the show? Uh, well, let me, let me clear it to him. Probably not. But it was all about just, you Look, know, here's, our here's son's the deal. Costume. Here's the deal. You, I can either show the picture of Les wearing the cowboy outfit on the show, mm -hmm. or I make my own. I'll be sending you a copy <laughs> to show on the show. Do and that, everybody. Handsome. We'll be right back. Eating 
already? None of you people look particularly small to me. You look like regular sized people. <laughs> why is it called little people? Why is it called yes, little people? Yes, why? I'm sure. That's little people, my sister law, my wife over there. Why is it called That's little people? Oh, she is can little. She can step out. It's she very is little. Five feet, and all my si siblings are. Oh, well, that's nice. But the customers don't have to be little. No, yeah, right. no. It used to be back in the days when there was segregation, you would only serve little people. Is that right? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. What are we going to eat? Oh, we're going to eat some nice Rodney turkey next. Rodney turkey next. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice now, oh, oh, boy. Next. Look at that. Next. What, potatoes. What was that broth? Yeah. The brush is a special delivery like for Rodney. We have a fork? <laughs> you guys wait there. I'll go get a fork. Oh, there you right, go. Right. Thank tongs, you very much even indeed. better. There you go. Look right. at that. Tongs. Now, it's yeah. spicy, right? Yes. Is it okay, spicy? Very good. There this is go. good and spicy. There you, there you go. That's Thank right. you. Yeah. The corn. All right. Turkey next. Turkey. This is that. That's smoked sausage. That's smoked sausage, right? Right. Okay, that's I'm turkey neck right there. Turkey neck, there's your turkey Ooh, neck. Thank you. Right. There you are. Well, you want some sausage? Right. Corn. Oh, you want some corn? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Good, good, All right. good. <laughs> good. All right, that. Mike. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to have a turkey. Do you want ones anybody? You want a, a Ooh, turkey this looks neck? looks delicious. Yeah, all right. That looks like a turkey neck. I think that turkey was double jointed. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no, it's two turkeys. <laughs> now, Craig was saying that during Mardi Gras, um, the parade goers contribute to the ingredients and throw oh, things yeah. in the pot. Oh, is that yeah. true? He that's, made that up. That's true. Get out of here. Man, that's, that's true. great. Good, huh? That is great. That's why they call it Rodney Turkey Neck. Wow, mm. that is I, great. Just can't eat one. I, 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 I didn't have a fork, but you'll notice that I didn't care or even wait to get one. <laughs> this is worth not using a fork. Wow. Right. That is Very delicious. Good. How hard is it to buy turkey neck? Oh, uh, it's not hard at all. It yeah. comes and with the rest of the turkey. You just right. buy a whole turkey in the next there. It's usually headless, isn't it's it? Yeah, right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so do you buy the head, turkey heads? Uh, just neck. You can buy just necks? Just, yes. Where? In L.A.? Really? No, not know. in L.A. I, I don't think, know about, I don't think I don't about L.A., yeah. but I know about around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easiest one. Okay, we got to get out of here. This you guys make the best turkey neck I ever oh, tasted. You make the only thank turkey neck I ever tasted, but it's fantastic. I don't even want the sausage. I don't even want the sausage. You don't want it? No. What, why are you even saying that? I'm oh, still okay. me. When you see Elaine's like, I don't even want the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Me. Don't take it personally. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Julie Chen, everybody. Julie Chen. I say, may I say something very complimentary about your look this evening? It's very nice. Thank you. It's got a real kind of. Oh. <laughs> no, I like this. Is that thing. Webster's? Oh, yeah. Thank it's you. Lovely. It's the color. I, the, the, color. the color in the shoes. The wow. Thanks. They're kind of sandaly, but they've got. Gladiatory sandal. Well, gladiator isn't where I was going to go, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's got a touch of the performing arts about them. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the, the Big Brother looks like that's uh, terrible when you get more in your face than in your pail, isn't it? That. <laughs> You are so naughty. So you've been off for two weeks and you're just raring to go. Oh, that is not true. <laughs> I was here last week, all new. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, that's right. All new, original, never before seen, not taped ahead of time, new. I, uh, I, was, I was in France for the weekend. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, have you ever been to France? Yes, um, I was just there on a little family vacation. It was very really? Nice. Yeah. I like to pick my destinations based on food, right? So you know you're going to do great in France. Oh, yeah. You're going to do great in Italy. Of course. You're going to do great in China. You know, you're gonna India? Do India? India is fantastic. Yeah. That's true. I haven't gone there yet for food. Um, you know, <laughs> so I'm getting there. But um, I was thinking, because I know you spend a lot of time in Scotland being I do, Scottish. yeah. Well, I, I am from there originally. But what, yeah. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But food-wise, what do you have to offer me if I go, right? Haggis. Yeah. See, that's why I haven't gone there yet, so. Yeah, but I it's not only it haggis, haggis. First of all, haggis is okay, right? And like all that joke, everyone's like, oh, haggis. Like, knock it off, because haggis is fine. Like, uh, okay. you're Chinese. It's not a bird nest soup. You know what I'm saying? It's haggis. <laughs> 
Chinese... I'm not quite sure what the comparison is. So well, that's what I'm saying is, is, you know, the Chinese people eat uh, bird nest soup. Yes, yes, Scottish yes. people, you know, it's they a... leave the bird nests in the trees, to be fair. <laughs> That is true, too. Right. So you're, you know, what I'm saying is you're in a glass house throwing stones about haggis. <laughs> and, and, Fair enough. <laughs> and the, uh, there's other things. There's Cullen Skink is the name of a thing. Oh, now, what is that? It's a oh, fish. Wait, Cullen? Cullen Skink. Skank or Skink? <laughs> with an A or with a E A? Well, it depends if you want soup or something else. But the <laughs> Cullen, Cullen Skink, Cullen Skink is the name of the soup. And it's... Uh, hot fish. It's like a chowder. Oh, so then why don't they give it a nicer name, like... Because it's Scotland. Chowder. <laughs> Is that a Scotland right, skink? But also, in, in, in Scotland, Cullen skink sounds nice. Oh, it does. <laughs> but of course it does. Would you like some Cullen skink? I'd love some, thank you very much. <laughs> that sounds like something, if you don't like your guests, you offer them. Well, but... in Scotland, you don't like your guests. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. Yeah, story. that's a different thing. Tell me about the Big Brother then this year. You, got, you had to put a disclaimer on it. It's crazy. Yeah, well, well, first I have to explain the clip that you showed. If someone doesn't watch Big Brother and they see Howie... Ooh, who, who, who would that be? <laughs> How, Howard, who is the African-American man who was throwing the pail, he was trying to throw that competition. He did not want his team to win oh. because his teammates for that particular competition. Yeah. They were three women who many people consider the mean girls of the house. Oh, I see. So he didn't want to win it because... Well, of course, I, I knew all of this. Right. Of course, yeah, I, I know you know this. I'm just catching other people, right, right. people up, up to speed. But it is, it's, it's always crazy in the Big Brother house. This year, it is more tension-filled and more like good guys versus perceived bad guys than ever before. You know, there's always like, okay, we're the cool kids and we're like the not so popular, but we're sticking together. This year, um, race has become an issue and it has gotten very ugly. Well, it's, 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 it was uncomfortable to watch for me last night. Really? Oh yeah. I, I, I've, I've said it on the DVR, so I'll see you later. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> see, you didn't know where to go with that one. <laughs> no, I, I, I think, well, race is the big, uh, is the hot button right now. You guys been talking about it on the talk? We've been talking on the talk, you know, it started with the Paula Dean story. <sighs> Like, and then today with Trayvon Martin, mm -hmm. the verdict, and that's then... why I didn't say it's a great day for America tonight. I can't, I couldn't say it. It's no, like... I, I agree. Yeah, it's not. It's not. But I did notice you said you weren't going to curse anymore. Yeah. And then you slipped before, and you yeah. said so. What? <laughs> wait, for, what is the motivation behind you wanting to try and not curse all to right. begin well, with? Let, let, let me explain this. First of all, you think you know me? You don't know me. Okay. <laughs> Clearly not, because I would have never expected yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Well, actually, I would have. You didn't see that one coming. That's right. <laughs> it's very non-Scottish of you. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, and the other thing is that, you know, I can't live even by my own rules. I find it very difficult to set parameters and then follow them. Rules are tough. Very, very difficult. But I've got children, so I try and do that. You, Charlie's what age is he? He's like Charlie three? is three and three quarters. Right. And he, for the first time yesterday, I, we heard him say... The F word. Yeah! It was. Yeah! And you don't want to laugh. He doesn't know what it means. It I mean, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> truth? Okay, so truth be told, my husband and I take him out for ice cream, and I'm sitting in the back seat with Charlie in his baby seat because it's the first time we took him out in like a convertible. So I'm all like, right. all right, fingers and toes inside and everything. So I'm like, you know, the overprotective parent. So my husband's driving in the front, and let's just say, um, is that how Les drives, by the way? Because I'd be careful about that. Like, and, so, going to the ice cream store! <laughs> how you doing back there? No, so, let's just say um, something happened that involved another car, mm. and words were exchanged for a moment, and a, who, who, who a was woman... Who? You or Les? No, Leslie, because he's behind the wheel. Les cost? Well, the other, the woman pulled up next to us and she screamed outside of her window. She was like, ah, learn how to drive, rat, like really ugly. So, you know, it, it hits your crazy button. So my husband happened to, in his retort back, say the F word. So I'm shocked. I know. I, it's like so not him, right? Oh, right. I've never heard him cuss. And so... <laughs> You, by the way, if you don't know, uh, Julie's husband, uh, Les Moonves, runs CBS. 
and it's he's kind of his gag. <laughs> but that's why I never cuss, because Lance never cusses. <laughs> no, no, no. And so our son hears this for the first time, and he just hears emotion, so he repeats verbatim what came out of my husband's ah. mouth. And it was like, no, go run, you and I'm like, and I'm just like, and I don't want to laugh, but I want to laugh. And my husband looks in the rearview mirror. He goes, that's right, Daddy said a bad word. Daddy said, oh, Daddy said, and we don't have like a, a cussing jar because he's three and a half. He doesn't know what money is. You know, he doesn't get an allowance. So I said, uh, next time we go for ice cream, you don't get gummy bears on top of your ice cream. And who, who Les or the, the, <laughs> I, I, I'm Charlie trying to make gets, an example. Charlie gets the gummy, but Les doesn't get gummy bears because, listen, you, you're opening up a world of pain if Les doesn't get gummy bears on his ice cream. And there'll be real curses Yeah, yeah, now. yeah. Like, you know who'll get it? Me! Me! <laughs> Cinderella on Late Night! That's the one that'll get the trouble. It was on your show that yeah. this story was told. So, you know, I'm trying to make a point with my son, mm -hmm. and my son starts bawling because he knows he said oh, it too dear. and i'm like no no no. we're acting like we didn't hear him say it because he kind of just looked out the the window to say this right kinda, you know and i'm like oh no no you didn't say it daddy says it. he doesn't get the gummy bears and he thought about it but he knew he said it and he just couldn't stop crying oh it is making me so sad yeah. i was like here are all the gummy bears you want well <laughs> and that's a great thing to do with your kids when they show any uh, negative emotion give them stuff <laughs> Parenting 101. Yeah, that's it. You learned it here. CBS Cares. We'll be right back with Julie Sanders. I'm here with Julie Chen, who's just told me who's one big brother this year. <laughs> See, now I know you don't watch it every night. Why? Is there no winner? No, there is a winner, but like Survivor. See? Oh, no, right. but Survivor Amazing Race, they have the winner established before they go on the air. But Big Brother happens live, so the great thing is I don't have to, I'm terrible at keeping secrets, so I don't have to worry about revealing who wins. Because right. We, you genuinely don't know? You, it's like, no, because it happens live in <coughs> September. That's yeah, but I do you kind of think, like, do you help it along a little bit? Like, you know? Uh, that would be illegal and cheating. <laughs> Remember Quiz Show, the movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that illegal? Yes. Is it illegal if I try and, like, you know, help somebody do well here? Oh, you mean when you do the $50 and quarters? Oh, I never used to. I don't do that anymore, but you can have it if you want. I still have that in my cards. I love it because, you know, when you don't have money for the meter, it's like, yeah. of course I have money in the meter. I don't have any in my purse. But the meters take cards now. You got money. Come on. Yeah, girl. I know. Come but on. I'm old, school. I'm old school because it's like, I feel like that they automatically take $2. They do. And that, I'm like, I'm like but I only need 75 cents worth. So. Do you know what happened to me this morning? I went to uh, the, uh, this place where I go and get coffee, and I went to put the thing in the meter. It already had one hour 50 left. <gasps> you I felt was like, like, yeah! I know, it's those little things, it's just, yeah. Yeah, I was like, take that, difficult childhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's all better now. Yeah, it's fine now. See? No more therapy for me! <laughs> See, it does get better. Yeah, it does get better, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time, uh, which is a shame, because I adore your company. Um, not so hey. much that Les would get annoyed at me, but enough, you know. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I would always give you here. gummy bears on your ice cream, though. I... <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> now you're in trouble. Why? I don't know. I felt like saying that. Because <laughs> I could always cut it out. Oh, no, I can't. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, I know. See, if Les had done that, the desk would break. Oh. <laughs> now it actually would. Now you're back in his good graces. Yeah, so I know. Good. He's kind of like Chuck Norris. <laughs> you know when uh, people make Chuck Norris jokes? Like, you know, Chuck Norris. The, yeah, what happens? Do well, they get, like, they get found in someone's trunk or something? No, 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 no. Chuck Norris is fine. It's just like Chuck Norris is the example of, of everything that is strong and manly. It's like, you know, what's the difference between Chuck Norris and, you know, Something really strong? Nothing. <laughs> See, I'm not very good at jokes, is what I'm telling you. All right. It, if it came down to Chuck Norris versus Jean-Claude Van Damme, who is your money on? What is it for? Uh, making out or fighting? <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> um, make out Chuck Norris, fight Jean-Claude Van Damme. There you go. All right. Julie <laughs> Chan, everybody. We'll be right back. Julie 
Chen, everybody, Jimmy Chen. You look great. Thank you. I mean, you. really good. You look Thank much you. better as yourself. I don't like you as a middle-aged man. <laughs> Even with the blue contact lenses well, in? Well, uh, it's nice, but, you know, the balding and the hat, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it was a little disturbing. What were you doing? We were. We had a reunion show with the whole cast of The Love Boat. Right. Did you ever watch I, I, I did. We did something here. We go, I did Captain Scoob, Sto Scooby. Captain Scooby. Where's, where's my Captain Scooby? Uh, That was, uh, we did it. So you know. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. We did our own version. We had, we had the cast reunite on our yeah, the, show. Yeah, you had the cast there. That's fantastic. And if you, if you like what we did then, tune in this Thursday because we are all getting in costume again for, I can't say which classic TV show. But Is it Scooby-Doo? Maybe. <laughs> we're having another reunion show and we will be um, dressed up. So. Well, where did you get all the money for this? <laughs> it's like, I got enough for a horse and a, and a skeleton. Those are rentals. Those are, oh, really? those yeah. are in the... I wonder if it's CBS stuff. I bet you the what I wore as Captain Steubing is the same as you wore as Captain... Probably. Did it smell I a bit it, like me? Yeah, it was a little musty. Yeah. I think nah. Captain Steubing wore it. <laughs> <laughs> was that a CBS show? I can't remember. No, it was an ABC show. Oh, uh, back when ABC had that show. <laughs> you were going to say something not nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm always going to say something not nice. I, I feel like I'm, I'm trying to edit myself a lot these days. I'm trying to be nice. Why? I don't know. I'm trying Is to put a, a positive thing? energy into the world. It's kind of a New Year thing, yeah. Well, it's Chinese New Year, isn't it? Yes, by the way, this is Secretariat's year. Is it? Oh, yeah, Year of the Horse. Year of the Horse. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is Secretariat's year. What, uh, and I looked up what year you were born in. Tiger. Yes. I'm the year of the tiger. Yes, you are. Growl. <laughs> what are you? Well, I prefer to call the animal a rooster. Other people say it is the year of the... <laughs> For me, Julie, that's every year. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> What, you, what, what have you heard? No, you said it like, so I've heard, like you heard something. What have you heard? No, it's been a long time since I used... Anyway, so you've got the... Uh, did you do anything special? You're, you're, uh, you're Chinese? Did you yes, do anything... Yes, you know, I went down to my mom's house and she prepared a big feast. And you have to eat special foods that are considered lucky. Oh, yeah? For example, there is actually um, seaweed that looks... Uh, finer than angel hair, and we call it to, we call it um, tofa cai, which oh. that, which direct translation is hair vegetable because it looks like hair. All right. Uh, but because the last two words fa cai means like things are like going up, like it's 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 lucky, it's good. All oh, right. Uh, right. Not necessarily things are going up. Well, not to get back to that topic, no. That's a, that's a different year a entirely. Different year. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Hang on, I'm just going to think about it for a minute. <laughs> you having a good time at the talk? Everyone working out? You girls getting along okay? Yes, we're oh, having come a great on. time. No, we... Nah, are. come on. If there was any drama, you would read about it or hear about it. Do you get... Do you, are the paparazzi around there a lot? Are there a lot of kind of gossipy, in, like people sneaking around trying to get... Juice? No, you know, I, I think because we're on a secured lot, but it seems as if the paparazzi always seem to find Sharon Osbourne, no matter where she is. Now, here's the eternal question. Do the paparazzi find Sharon Osbourne, or does Sharon Osbourne <laughs> find the paparazzi? <laughs> now, you know I love Sharon. Yes, I know you do. You know I love Sharon. But I ask the question, in all seriousness, uh, perhaps, you know, there's a sort of... 
well, I know you're going to be there and you know I'm going to be there. <laughs> there are those who do that. There are people that do that. I don't yes. think Sharon does that. No, but I, I, me too. Yeah, she doesn't have to. But yeah, they, but there are people who do it. I think that, you know, that he's going to phone up. Do you ever, you ever uh, run into the paparazzi? Ever had a hard time with them? You know, we always get um, caught by TMZ, and they've been very good to us outside certain restaurants. And they know that my husband is always going to be good for a funny sound bite. And they put him on the spot about things. Yeah, you, your husband, who of course is my boss, um, <laughs> is one of the most charming, intelligent, and funny people I have ever. Yes, I agree. Uh, absolutely. I mean, girl, did you ever win a prize right there? <laughs> Is that enough? Have I done enough? Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> enough sucking up. <laughs> Just the right amount. No, I think it was too much. You don't want to do too much. I think people get uncomfortable. Do you, don't you get uncomfortable when people are I sucking do. up around you? I feel like, what are you hiding? Like, I feel like I see right through it. You're right. But there are some people who are very good, and I find men are more susceptible to falling for that than women. Well, uh, yeah, because women are used to it. Women have been hearing it for a long time. I mean... Everybody has been coming at you since you were, what, 15, 16 years old with an agenda. Every man you meet is like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> no. Yeah, a little bit. So. Yeah, a little bit. And, and I think women kind of get used to it. They understand they have to be able to read signals more than just, whereas men are just like, oh, great. And yeah. men are like, are like puppies. They're yeah, a little like bit. Like, oh, you think I'm great? Boy, oh, thanks. Let's get married. <laughs> At least I've done that a couple of times. <laughs> but you learned. You got it right. Yeah, yeah, I got it right time. eventually. Yes. Yeah, I found someone who doesn't think I'm that great. <laughs> and, and that's the way you should go. I think I've said too much. Yes. <laughs> we have to take a break. Have. We'll be right back with Julie Chan, everybody. All right. talking to Julia about feng shui, which is uh, like you have everything feng shui to, in your house and the... Yes, feng shui is the art of, um, I believe in the placement of objects will dictate the, you know, the luck or bad luck in your life. Uh, um, feng shui means feng is wind and shui is water. So, you know, it's the elements. There's water, right. fire, you know. Air and uh, regis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the most powerful most one. Most powerful of all the elements, yeah. <laughs> and it screams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I believe in feng shui. A lot of it is my mother believed in it growing up. So I've had my house feng shui, but it's been a struggle getting my husband to sign up, sign on with everything. I can't see Les Moonves with the feng shui. I just no, can't see it. No, no, he, he does it. Well, the line that works, uh. and this is for all wives out there listening, if you and your husband disagree about something, all you have to do is tell your husband, but it makes me happy. <laughs> What are they going to say? I don't want you to be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it you, yeah, yeah, it's you. It's like I game yeah. over. It's like, but it makes me happy. Do you guys like get together and decide this stuff in a secret <laughs> club or something? No, I learned that one on my own, and then I've been trying to pass it on. No, to no, I think one. I think it makes perfect sense, and now I can see why I've been manipulated. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you heard the line? Yeah, I have heard the line, but the th the truth it is actually true though as well, because you do want your wife to be happy. So you know, if you say it makes me happy, you go, well, what difference does it make? Fine, if right, it makes it, you happy. Right, and right. if you guys said it. To us, we would say fine also. You know, if yeah. they said... <laughs> well, yeah. it depends. Some things, maybe not. I don't know, because I can think of at least one scenario <laughs> that I could take to my wife and say, but it makes me happy. She'd be like, I don't care if it makes you happy. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. It's all right. Julie, it's great to see you. It's you look always, sensitive. It's always great being Julie here. Julie Chan, the talk, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome Julie Chan, everybody. Julie Chan. You've 
never heard of that whole ball sensor thing. We know. We've I, have heard no, of I have no idea what you're talking about with the ball sensor <laughs> thing. I've never played that game. You did that on purpose, though. That wasn't me doing the double entendre. You put that double Oh, entendre. sure, sure. Yeah, sure, you did. Sure. Let's have a game where they have a ball sensor. And then you just made one up. <laughs> And it worked, but I look so innocent, right? Well, you see, that's how you get away with it. Everything I say sounds dirty. I'm the opposite. Like, if I say, hi, how you doing? People are like, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, why is that? Well, it's because I think I have a pathological connection in my mind to sex. Uh, oh, is that? OK, well, that, that sounds... Dangerous. Yes, it yeah. does. All right. It has, it's all right. I'm getting too old for it now. It's By fine. By the way, it's worked for you. Yeah, it's worked for you. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> you look great, though. With it. I love, I'm loving the pink. Thank you. Very nice. Is that what this is in for the fall? Pink. You no, know, right? I'm squeezing in anything that's pastel or <laughs> white or, you know. Do you really follow that rule? I am because I'm from the East Coast. Well, it's California. It's going to be hot true. and dry. I mean. I know, but, you know, this show is seen on the East Coast. and all over the country. I, but I will Some say this, people. many people, uh, you know, are very forgiving of that rule. For example, I have worn white here in the winter and people are like, oh, it's all right. Well, A, you're a guy. Yes. All right, and, and B, are you talking about a white shirt or are you talking about white pants? Underpants. <laughs> I hope they're white, okay? Let's just say, I pray mo mo they're white. Mo mostly white, yes. <laughs> Hey, um, so, <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, well, it it's good to see. Well, no, no, no. I was like, no, no, no. It's fine. No, you're looking great, though. You're very, you're, are you a fashion, you are a bit of a fashion plate. You really kind of do it, well, don't you? Well, thank you. I don't think of myself that way, but really? um, I, I have, you know, professionals who help yeah. me with this. So I always call it adult granimals. You know, kids wear garanimals, and it's like, all right, you know, they put this with that, and this matches that. Good, good, good. So your kid looks coordinated for school. Ah. But for me, you know, I don't have that talent to figure out this goes with that. You know, if it was up to me, I would be in like yoga pants and sneakers all day. That's all right. Yoga pants are good. Yeah. Yoga pants are oh, good. And, you know, yeah, yeah, no, so it's fine. But do you judge other women on their clothing? Like, do you go, ooh, that's bad? Now, we remember, I'm hoping to, for the all, truth here. We all do. Right. Every woman does it. Really? If any woman says she doesn't judge another woman's clothing or hairdo, she's lying. I don't know what it is. Like, you know, <laughs> you should sit. You're you should... welcome, Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on the TV. Mm -hmm with a room full of women, especially if it's a red carpet event, and just go in the corner and listen. You will hear every, the whole gamut. Do you, I don't think, in my house, whenever that's going on, you don't have to go to the cor in the corner. You can hear pretty much any part of the room. Yeah, eh? I see what I mean. It, it's going on, yeah. yeah do you worry it about it? Like, if you go, because you go to a lot of big events, you go to swanky things around town. Do you worry about, oh, if I wear this, I'm going to get torn apart? Like, I have. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the one day I decided, oh, I don't need to call, you know, the stylist and my husband and I had this thing to go to and I didn't think there was going to be any photographers. I just wore this simple summer frock. Uh oh, there's, there, <laughs> oh, oh, the right there. It was just a simple summer dress and I didn't want to put on painful shoes. So I wore like flat shoes and then sure enough, one day I'm looking in the gossip rags. I was like, ah, I was like, that's bad. I'm like, that's me. Oh. <laughs> That, now, here's the thing. So you look at the gossip magazines then. You actually yes. look at them. Yes. I used <sighs> to not so much, but now my husband makes fun of me and I call it research because <laughs> on the talk, yeah. we are often well, that's true. topics mm -hmm. that are, you know, inside those pages, on the cover of those magazines. So my husband... You know, it's a, there's a know. lot of Ooh la la. in there, though. You know that. True, right? true, true, true. I mean... But you can usually sniff it out. Well, I don't know. I mean, I here's how weird it is. I, the, I read in Us Weekly once, there was a, a story about my feud with Katie Couric. Now, I've never had a feud with Katie Couric in my life. I know Katie Couric. I like her. She likes me. When I'm in New York, sometimes I, she's a lovely woman. What well, were they saying the beef was over? I was jealous of her success, apparently. And I'm like, she's been successful for... <laughs> Why would I be jealous of Katie Couric? You're not even on in the morning. I, right, right. So I, I, so I read this thing. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm looking at it. I'm like, who would even believe that? And as I'm reading that, I look over at another piece of crap about somebody else and went, Oh, I didn't know that about him. Isn't that funny? Isn't even that though, even, even though, though I knew that was a flat-out fiction, I went, oh, that, well, uh-huh, no smoke without fire. Uh. Right, exactly. 
We, we are all guilty of that. I must have read so many times before I was pregnant that I was pregnant. And you know, with- Is that what got you pregnant? <laughs> maybe, but I That thought, and a little summer dress, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> with that summer frock with the flats. Um, but you know, and I know, Look, I can hide my weight well, but I basically have a 20 pound sliding scale. And it was. I've when never I was, seen that on you well, ever, it's ever. The summer frock can hide really? that. Really? Funny. I need and to get I me mean, a summer frock. <laughs> and I remember reading, like, they were like, oh, we saw a bump. I'm like, there's no baby in that bump. You know? Yeah. But yes, they, yeah. Well, it's worse if you're a guy. What? And they think you're Do you pregnant? see a bump? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially if they, they're calling you pregnant. Well, or, or another bump. Uh, <laughs> see, see, there you go again. Whoa, well, I didn't even think anything dirty. Oh. It's the tone. Craig. Now I know. I think it's the accent. I think the accent makes everything sound dirty. When you go to, like, people that go to Scotland, they're like, everybody's dirty over here. We're not. Usually, that, but it, there are different Scottish accents, right? Yes. Certain ones can sound um, very intelligent. Right? Like you, you could say, I can't do accents. But the sexiness is because of Sean Connery. So of course, it's all about Sean Connery. It's like, Sean, pushy galore. Well, that see. was your name. That was your name. And uh, it was uh, Dr. No, I think. Pushy galore. Was she was your pilot that flew his plane. We can all do it. By the way, <laughs> the name itself also doesn't help. Well, that and uh, Octopushy. Well, there you go. He wasn't even in that one, but. Um, but we think he was. Well, he kind of should have been. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, it was Roger Moore. Come on. Oh, no. See, that was, that was my James Bond. Roger Moore? Because I was born in the 70s, so it was the spy who loved me, Moonraker. Yes, he was Roger my... Roger James... Moore? James yes, Bond? Yes, 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 yes. By the way, if he wasn't... I used good... to admire you. <laughs> You guys are such snobs when it comes no, to your No, well, we're snob. caught, like, the French have their wine and their cheese, and Scottish people have Sean Connery. That's, that's true, that's, that's true. what it is. And we've got to take a break. We'll be right back with Julie Chan, everybody. We'll be right back. So, welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Julie Chen. Let's talk about uh, the talk uh, versus the view because they've put in new people this year. Have you guys got anybody new? No, we oh. have been rock solid. Uh, this is our fifth season, right? And it's the same team, uh, so we're back. So hopefully, you like all of us. Yeah, well, um, um, and then uh, who they've put in uh, the view because uh, you're direct competition with them, right? Well, everyone thinks we are because we are both a an all female panel show, right? Who ladies who sit around an oval table, but we are not on against each other, I don't think in any market. I did not know, you know that. They're typically on before noon um, in the morning and we are always I know on when noon is, don't, you don't have to tell you. <laughs> You're smart. <clears throat> um, and we are on either one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So they're not competitive. They're not, though. they're not, but people like to, again, you and Katie Couric, yeah, us no. in the view, you know, it's just people. Well, like it's good, it's good. You like to think of it, it's but it's not then. It's not, Well, it's okay, not. that's good. Would you go on that show though then if they asked you, like as a guest? You know something? What? I've never Ever said this, but years ago, um, I, I didn't try out, but I was I was looking for better hours, um, work hours because I was doing the news. Oh yeah, in New York, I remember. Yes. Yeah, and I remember. I think it was when there was buzz that uh, Rosie O'Donnell was leaving, and my. Um, agent calls me, he's like, should I put your name in the hat for The View? Because I think they're looking for a new moderator. And I said, well, you know, that's kind of awkward. It's on another network. Although I started my career at ABC, behind right. the scenes. And I said, I, I don't know, I don't know. And then he calls me back. He's like, oh, don't worry, they don't want you anyway. Uh. <laughs> and then of course, when he said that, I was like, well, I well, wanted I that. Wanted that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I think you're fine where you are, to be honest. I think well, you're things doing okay. Out. Yeah, yeah, things are going fine. It's lovely to see you again. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. You look great in pink, though. You look great in charcoal. <laughs> and what white. This is? And the white. Yeah, I know, and it's after Labor Day. I feel terrible. I won't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone on the East Coast. No, don't watch right. East Coast. Oh, thank you. I mean, do watch, but don't judge. Don't judge. Don't judge. Watch Julie Chan, everybody. We'll be right back.
It's like Jay Leno as a fly. <laughs> I'll be back in uh, eight months. <laughs> Can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>